At Davidson Chiropractic Clinic, they want to make sure you're well and adjusted for maximum summer fun. They're always accepting new patients. And besides chiropractic adjustments and treating auto and work injuries, they offer massage therapy, electrotherapy, lifestyle advice, and much more. Davidson Chiropractic Clinic offers sports physicals and DOT physicals. Call today to make an appointment for the school athlete in your family before the school year begins. 382 Or stop in and see them at 2624 Commercial Way, Suite A in Rock Springs. Don't let pain stop you from having fun this summer. Visit Davidson Chiropractic Clinic. Jaeger's Auto Body in downtown Green River is a proud sponsor of Green River Wolves broadcasts. Jaeger's Auto Body has been proudly providing quality auto body service to the Green River and Rock Springs area since 1972. Located at 360 West Flaming Gorge Way in Green River. Call 307-875-2448. That's 875-2448. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Closed for lunch from noon to 1. Mommy, Daddy put the dent in the car. At Frank's Auto Body, we understand that accidents happen. Frank's Auto Body is a proud supporter of Green River Wolves Athletics custom paint and auto body experts they'll have your vehicle repaired and back to you quickly plus you'll get a written lifetime warranty so when your vehicle is in need of body work think frank's auto body and go wolves call 875-7752 875-7752 frank's auto body we fix it like it wasn't broken i'm not supposed to tell China Garden Restaurant and Sports Bar. They have been serving Sweetwater County for over 40 years. Come check out their buffet from 11.30 to 2, or come watch your favorite game and enjoy a micro brew on tap. They offer Chinese and American cuisine, and their service is second to none. Come down, play a game of pool, or bring the whole family and enjoy a nice dinner. Located at 190 North 5th East Street, Green River. Open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 9. Sunday, 11 to 8. Monday, they are closed. The China Garden Restaurant and Sports Bar. Hello, everyone, and welcome here to the ball game as we get ready for this varsity matchup here between the Green River Lady Wolves and the Detrona County Phillies here as uh, game two here in Casper for the conference games, at least. The uh, Green River Lady Wolves won their conference game last week. I apologize for that talk right now. <laughs> but anyways, there was... Uh, this is the second conference game. Last week they won their conference game against Kelly Walsh, 17 to 14, and it was all tied up 14 to 14 at the top of the seventh. And then we had a single for Chasey Shiner, which uh, scored one run in, and then we got a, another two in as well to go up 17 to 14 and end the game on a win. And it was a fantastic game last night from Izzy Kelly, who collected five hits at six at bats in the win. She also doubled. In the third inning, the sixth inning, the seventh inning, and singled in the first inning. And so yeah, a great game for her last night. She also had five steals it, all over the place and some fantastic defense here from Cody Allred as well, who was playing catcher yesterday. She switched to catcher this season, was the star shortstop last year. Moved to catcher this year, and she's been phenomenal so far here uh, this season as uh, she is just kind of one of the most versatile players in the state, could pretty much put her anywhere and she'll do just fine, has the arm strength and the knowledge of the game to do so. And so uh, looking here today, it's going to be a pretty good game here, pretty fair weather here. It's um, starting to really start, the, the sun's starting to come out here. It's getting hotter and hotter by the minute. And so um, JV game was a little bit behind. We're going to get into the varsity game here soon. So we're going to take another break and then They'll probably get the national anthem going here soon, and, and then we'll get to the starting lineup. So we'll come back for the lineups right after this. The housing market is, well, complicated to say the least. In today's market, you need experience on your side to sell your home for the most money, and Brokerage Southwest brings over 25 years of experience serving Sweetwater County. If you're looking to take advantage of the seller's market, give Kelly Palmer a call at 362-1275. Their group of 10 agents can find the ideal buyer for your home. Don't wait. There aren't many houses for sale, so make yours stand out with the help of an agent at Brokerage Southwest, 362-1275. The Green River Bowling Center is everything you could ask for for family entertainment in Green River. Bring the whole family down for open bowling during the week. 
and every Saturday is one to remember with Cosmic Bowling starting at 7 o'clock. Enjoy delicious meals either brought out to you at the lanes or in their restaurant. The Green River Bowling Center has all the ingredients for a family night out. The Green River Bowling Center. Find them on Uena Drive for the family entertainment you've been looking for. Eye accidents happen more than you think. That's why Desert View Eye Care has added another impressive doctor to their roster, Dr. Meekum. Dr. Meekum has joined Dr. Wilson at Desert View Eye Care, where Dr. Wilson has served the Sweetwater County community for the last 18 years. They have the newest technology and techniques for every member of the family, including children, adults, and seniors. Schedule your appointment today by calling 307-875-3399. They're open Monday through Wednesday, 8 to 5, Thursday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Friday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Desert View Eye Care, serving all your family's eye care needs. Whether you're driving through or sitting on down, breakfast, lunch, and dinner is calling for you at the Hitching Post Restaurant in Green River. Get a hold of their breakfast burrito. You're going to need two hands for that. Or get everything you need for breakfast on one plate with a skillet. Their famous soup and salad bar has it all laid out for you. And their dinner specials make any family night a memorable one. The Hitching Post Restaurant in Green River, a proud supporter of Green River Wolves athletics and activities. When it comes to auto parts and tools, your best bet is Napa Auto Parts Unlimited in Green River and Rock Springs. Napa is locally owned and proud to support all local activities. Open seven days a week to serve your every need. Have a question? Let the experience of Napa go to work for you. All your automotive parts can be found at Napa Auto Parts Unlimited. Do or drive in Rock Springs and you win a drive in Green River. Jeanette at Green River Insurance is here to help you protect your home, your auto, your family, and your business. Green River Insurance does things the Wyoming way. By being locally owned and operated, Jeanette believes that her clients are the most valuable asset of any policy. With flexible hours that meet your needs, why aren't you doing insurance the Wyoming way? So call Jeanette today at 307-875-5078 or stop in and see her at 900 West Flaming Gorge Way. So, I just got the State Farm Personal Price Plan on my car insurance. So you told your agent you play the bagpipes for your dog? What? No, I didn't get that. Personal, my agent just helped me create an affordable price just for me. Okay, let me show you what I've been working on. Hey, Buster! Contact State Farm agent Amber Kramer to create your personal price plan today. Prices vary by state. Options selected by customer. Availability and eligibility may vary. Oh, I'm back here. We're still waiting on all the uh, uh, pregame stuff to go on and the National Anthem and the uh, uh, presentation of the colors. Yesterday we had uh, some, um, some Marines out here actually from, uh, from Casper doing it. So, presuming we're going to get the same thing, I saw some of them out there. They might be doing the other game first and then moving over here. So, I'm um, going to get started here soon. Uh, but just I was looking back at this game yesterday and... Like I said, great game. Uh, they did not win the other game, the non-conference game that took place afterwards. It started to get really cold though, and uh, it was uh, it was a good game though. Still, they still played pretty well. They ended up moving some people all the way around, moving different positions. They moved Allred back to shortstop for a little bit, gave Mag a little bit of reps at catcher, uh, had a new pitcher in. They, so we really were just kind of filling out the lineups, if you know. Uh, what things we could do, what things would work in certain situations. And so it was a good filling out game. Started to really see what was going along. And so after that huge win in the conference game, uh, a, a great job there from the Lady Wolves uh, to just get some things going here. And hopefully they could go 2-0 and in conference games here with this one today. Last week there wasn't any conference games from my understanding in Cheyenne and uh, Gillette. And, uh, and so this week here, first conference game is a win. Second one coming up soon, and it looks like we're looks like we have an announcement on the field here soon, and so we're going to take another break here, and it looks like we're going to get things started here. So we'll be back for the starting lineups after this.
At YHI, our members are owners of the credit union, so we're always looking for ways to go above and beyond to help our member owners achieve their dreams, big or small. At the core of everything we do is our value of advocacy. We're with you is more than just three simple words. It encompasses the principles we live by to serve our members and our local communities. So if you're looking to keep your banking relationships local with a partner who will always be there for you, look to us. We're YHI. We're with you. We are Wyoming. Visit whyhigh.org to learn how you can be a part of something bigger today. Same coursework, lower cost. By coming to Western your first two years, you can save $34,000 on average before transferring to a four-year university. Students at Western have the luxury of participating in a hands-on learning environment with an average 11 to 1 faculty to student ratio. There are plenty of student life activities and scholarship opportunities to take advantage of. Also, make sure to check out our new cybersecurity and outdoor recreation programs. Apply today at westernwyoming.edu forward slash apply. Hi, Mary here from the Window and Door Store to talk about our Larson Storm Doors. We have updated models on display, in stock, and we can order to match your home style. From full glass or half glass, retractable self-storing screens, select models available with pet doors. From budget-friendly options or durable, longer-lasting aluminum frames, you can customize sizes in certain models and we provide installation. So contact us today at 875-2564 or visit our showroom at 900 West Flaming Gorge Way, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., the Window and Door Store. Former University of Wyoming quarterback Josh Allen is worthy of Wyoming. 23 plays into my first start here at the University of Wyoming. I dropped back, kind of went through a progression. I saw the middle of the field kind of open up. I decided to lower my shoulder. His helmet went straight into my collarbone here. We landed on the 20 yard line. At that moment, I knew something was really bad. So Josh's collarbone was pretty bad. He had broken in multiple places and it required um, hardware fixation with the plate in order to get it back together. It was devastating news to me and my family just knowing that, you know, it could have ended 23 plays in. We had no question whether we could perform the surgery here given our wider range of uh, varying subspecialties within orthopedics. I would recommend Premier Bone and Joint Centers. The thing that made me feel really comfortable with them was they made it feel like your own family. I think he'll have no problem performing in the NFL. His rehab and his recovery have uh, done very well and I don't see any restrictions on him whatsoever. They want the best for you and they won't steer you wrong. Let us show you why we're worthy of Wyoming. When my patients are happy, I'm happy. I was exercising and I could not continue to do the full rotation of my shoulder like I once had. Don had a rotated cuff tear in her shoulder. It's a very common diagnosis that people get as they get older. I've not experienced a surgeon like Dr. Allred. He is just very thorough, very patient, very kind. I think there's no reason to go to a bigger town when you have the expertise right here in the backyard. First Bank, now in the same location at 601 North Front, for 109 years. They understand the importance of local spending. Local spending means a strong economy. Spending at home means local jobs. It means more sales tax revenues. The dollars that support our cities and towns in turn support us. And deposits from local businesses turn into local loans. And profits fund local charities and youth programs. A win, win, win. First Bank of Wyoming, Division of Glacier Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender, encouraging you to support your own spend at home hi there it's les schwab tires but if you don't know us we want to introduce ourselves as les schwab alignment and brakes and shocks and wheels and tires now some tire places don't offer all that they only sell tires and we're not sure how they sleep at night because all those services affect things like steering and stopping that's why we offer more than tires to help keep you safe Stop by or book an appointment at LeshSchwab.com. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. Welcome back here. As looks like we're finally going to get started here. It's been a huge delay here for uh, after that JV game got done. And everyone's still getting warmed up here. It looks like we're, they had an announcement on the field. I thought we were getting ready to get started here. But now it looks like uh, finally got the officials coming on to meet with the coaches at home plate. And then after that, it looks like we have a, a uh, the, the catcher out there for Natona County has the, the American flag out. So looks like we're finally going to get started here 
and, and Casper against Sachona County here. Still haven't went through the National Anthem and all that, so that's still soon to come. Just want to give you guys an update here. I know so you guys have been on the stream here for a little bit waiting on this game to start, but uh, uh, still still, still waiting here. i got a, a couple more things coming up, and looks like we will be getting underway here soon. About a almost a 20-minute delay here, but uh, it's uh, it's all right. We ain't got nothing much better to do here. We're here for the softball games and here to have some fun. So getting started here soon, and it looks like, uh, yeah, looks like they're meeting at home play, and looks like we're going to get started here. Still have a couple girls for the Lady Wolves swarming up in the outfield, but uh, should be good here. Also, if you guys are watching, well, you would be watching the stream. This isn't on the radio, so you guys watching the stream here. I tried to get the camera set up as best as I could. You can see home and third in this angle, uh, but with this dugout here on the right side here, this is Natrona County's dugout, cannot really see the right field at, well at all. So I'm going to do my best to get around that here because I can't even really see around it. So um, this is any plays in right field is going to be interesting to see well <laughs> we're not gonna really be able to see if they're gonna make the catch or not until after they throw it in so it's gonna be a it's gonna be interesting left field though doesn't it's not too bad here we could see out there can't really see up the baseline so really gonna be relying on some of the uh <laughs> the calls from the uh from the umpires out there as not a not the best crow's nest it's it's like the same level as the other one, but the these baseball fields are kind of not at the same level. So this one is, this baseball field, or softball field, excuse me, is a little bit higher than the one that they were playing on yesterday. It, but the crow's nest is at the same level, so it's, we're doing our best. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be interesting here, so it looks like, okay, team's meeting up here in front of their dugouts and her lining up here yep we're going to get into the national anthem now so we're going to take a break and we will finally get into the action here with the starting lineups and everything uh once we get back so we'll be back right after this if you're looking to get into a pre-owned vehicle first choice ford has a fully stocked inventory for you to choose from maybe you're wanting to upgrade your existing truck to a newer half or three-quarter ton Stop by 1264 Dewar Drive today and take one for a drive. Mid to full size SUVs as well as a good selection of crew cars. You'll be shopping at the largest selection in Western Wyoming. Zero down and top value for your trade in. All vehicles are discounted, so stop by or check online at firstchoiceford.net. Hi, this is Shyla Sims with Solvay. The employees at Solvay would like to wish all activities the best of luck this season. We would also like to remind you to rally around good sports. Being a good sport, whether you are playing or in the stands, is something to hang your hat on. Please rally around good sportsmanship. Also, we take safety serious at Solvay, and we hope you have a safe experience while playing or traveling to activities. Again, best of luck to you from all the employees at Solvay Chemicals. Whatever activity it is you're doing that may put your back out of whack, give the Arnold Family Chiropractic staff a call today at 875-1926. They offer effective care for everyone of all ages. So whether it's outdoor fun, athletics, or you're just needing to get that adjustment, see Dr. Tom Arnold at 665 Uena Drive in Green River, offering care for over 15 years. Set up your appointment at Arnold Family Chiropractic today. Give them a call at 875-1926. Hi guys, nice to see you. Hello, I'm Debbie and I'm a stay-at-home mom. Hi. Hi, and I'm Tim. I'm a part-time adjuster and we're looking to make a move to sunny Green River, Wyoming. Awesome, I'm so glad you're here. My name is Angela Wilson with HomeSmart Realty Group and I guarantee if you buy or sell your house with me, I will be there every step of the way to make your dreams come true on your home purchase. She's good. She's so good. Together, the Family and Occupational Medicine Clinics of Sweetwater Memorial and the Sweetwater Walk-In Clinic provide a one-stop destination for family primary care, treatment of work-related illness or injury, 
and unexpected health issues requiring urgent medical attention. For your good health and peace of mind, the clinics at 3000 College Drive treat your entire family. You may have heard that over-the-counter hearing aids are out of the market now. What you may not know is that they are not a one-size-fits-all for everyone. That's where BRC Family Hearing Solutions come in. They'll check and see what the right options are for you, and they'll be offering a new comparable price unit soon. Don't trust something as important as your hearing to just anyone. See the team of doctors at BRC Family Hearing Solutions, serving Southwest Wyoming for 12 years. Call and get your appointment at 875-1460. Trust the ladies who listen at BRC Family Hearing Solutions. KPAC, your locally owned pharmacy, would like to wish the Green River Wolves good luck in today's game. Everyone at KPAC Pharmacy is proud of your hard work and dedication through this challenging season. We are a proud supporter of these athletes and look forward to a healthy and safe season. We have a personal commitment to our community because just like you, we support our community. From everyone at KPAC Pharmacy. Being good at life is hard, and you deserve a lot of credit. You work hard to protect your loved ones, and you deserve a retirement worthy of a lifetime of happiness. While being good at life takes a team effort, planning for your financial future is easier with a team. Here at New York Life, we understand that securing your family's financial future is a part of being good at life. We pride ourselves on solving your needs while also understanding yours and your family's wants and desires. Allow me, Robbie Lee, your local New York Life agent, to be a part of your family's financial team. Simply call me at 307-362-4043 and let me help you be good at life. Fremont there. All right, welcome back here as we get ready to get things started here. And I was trying to do the starting lineup here on Game Changer here as we... We keep score on Game Changer. We're not the, or uh, it's not the same Game Changer app that, uh, well, it's the same app, but not the same uh, team account that the Rock Spring, I mean the Green River Lady Wolves use as well to stream on their side. Uh, but the uh, did not want to work for me. So <laughs> as it was going through, we uh, I did realize it's the same starters here for the Green River Lady Wolves as we had yesterday. Uh, pretty much the same exact order as well. So we'll have Izzy Ke Kelly up here first. Uh, to get things started here as the leadoff hitter. And then after her, we will have Gina Barajas. And next up after her, we'll have Taryn Avery. So that is the first three batters here for the Lady Wolves. And uh, uh, we'll go through Natrona Counties as it comes along. And so pitching here for Natrona County. Looks like we got number 14, which is uh, Goki. She'll be the starter here. And we're getting ready to get things started here pretty soon. Izzy Kelly would be up to bat first. And looks like teams are getting done warming up and we're getting ready to go here. The catcher here today, I believe that's number 40. Let's see. I believe that is number 40. Let's see if I see her anywhere else. I do. I did hear that she was starting today. I just don't know what – it's hard to tell with this right field not being able to see that. I do think that's – do think that's 40. So that's Malson at the catcher. And we're getting things started here. So Izzy Kelly, the lefty, kind of features a slap bunt here, uses her speed to try to get to the base. And here's the first pitch of the ball game. It's a delivery. She bunts it down, and the throw is good to first, and they'll get a out here on the first play as they throw Izzy Kelly out at first. That brings us here up to Gina Brajas. Gina, the third baseman. Up for the first half bat of the ball game for her. Here's the second pitch of the ball game, and this one is going to be taken for a strike. Back to the box here is Gina. Second pitch of this at bat. Here it is. Just swing at this one. It's going to get fouled off, and this will almost hit 
uh, the little picnic area over here at the ball fields. That will be strike two. 0-2 oh, count coming up. Still in the top of the first here. Here's the pitch. And this one's going to be low and in the dirt here for ball one. Good eye there. 1-2 count. Goki gets back to the mound here for the pitch. And here it is. That's going to be inside here for ball two. Good eye there again here from Gina as she battles this one out here. Trying to get her to chase on one here on the inside, but doing a good job. Keeping her eye on the ball here. Here's this pitch, and that's going to be inside again. Full count here. Gina, after having an 0-2 count here, battles it all the way back to a 3-2 count. And now this one here. She's going to show bunt, pulls back. Here's the pitch. And she hits this one to shallow center field, and they make the play here and get the out. That was number three there on the play. Let me see. Let me get her name from the roster here. Number three, that is... They don't have a number three listed on the... Oh, wait, there it is, Randolph. So Randolph there in center field makes the play. Next up here is Taryn Avery. Here's the pitch. That's in for a strike. Approaching the 10th pitch of this of this inning here. Goki doing a good job so far. And here's a swing on this one. This one's going to be high. And this falls foul. So 0-2 oh, count coming up here for Avery as she gets back to the plate. Trying to keep this inning alive here. So far, no batters on base yet here for the Lady Wolves. They had a hot start yesterday against Citrona County, uh, against Kelly Walsh, excuse me, where they had four runs in the first inning this time around here. Not having the same success here, but still a chance to get there to it. Just having a slow start here so far. Second pitch is outside here, brings a 1-2 count, or rather the third pitch here. 1-2 count, this one outside as well. Good eye there from Avery, trying to get her to chase one on the outside, but doing a good job keeping inside the, uh, keeping inside the zone here. Back to the plate here. Here's the pitch. This one's fouled off here as she battles this one here. That one was close. Could have been called a strike there, so a good job there to at least make some contact with that one. Still a 2-2 count as she gets back to the plate. Goki, here's the pitch. And this one's going to be high here for ball three. Another full count coming up here. The Lady Wolves doing a good job battling at all their at-bats here. It's only their third batter of the ball game, and this is the second full count of the ball game as well. This one is hit to the shortstop, and it'll fall through. Base hit for Taryn Avery. Uh, excuse me, for Hayden Terry. I always mix those two up. I apologize. She gets all the way to second there as that uh, ground ball sneaks past the shortstop. And this will go here for a double. Cody Allred up to bat now, the cleanup hitter. Trying to drive a run in here. Saw her nickname as Hum Home Run Cody. So let's see, maybe she'll get one right here. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be high for ball one. Next pitch coming up here from Goki. This is already her 16th pitch of the inning. This one swung on, and this is going to go foul way deep into left field there. That almost had the distance there, but could not keep that fair. That'll be foul ball here for strike one. 1-1 one, one count, two away. Runner at second is Hayden Terry. A timeout here, it looks like we're waiting on the umpire to get back to the play. I think they were 
Natona County. They called them over there trying to get everything sorted out. I think we're good, though, to go. All right, back to the plate. 1-1 one, one count, two away. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be – that's going to get skipped to home play. They won't even – be able to make the throw as Terry steals third on the wild pitch. It's a 2-1 count now. 2-1 count, two away. And got a runner at third here, top of the first. All right, here's the pitch, and that's going to be... Oh, just in there for, it's not going to be ball three, actually, I think. So 3-1 count. Three one count, two away. Here's the pitch from Goki, and that's going to be swung on, and it's going to get fouled off again. And it's going to be full count coming up. Third of the ball game, only the fourth batter. Lady Wolves are doing a great job here battling at each at-bat here. As Goki, this is her 20th pitch of the ball game coming up already. Only four batters through. Here's the pitch. And Allred fouls this one off again. Doing a good job battling here. She'll get back to the line here. Here's the pitch. That swung on and missed, and that's going to end the inning. Score will be 0-0. Heading to the bottom of the first. We'll take a real quick break. We'll be back for the Lady Wolves on defense here right after this. Wolves Athletics and Activities, providing specialized one-on-one -on -one physical therapy care in their custom-built facility with state-of-the-art equipment, including an on-site aquatic therapy pool. The clinicians have advanced training in orthopedics, manual therapy, sports performance, and hand therapy. Whether recovering from an injury or surgery, or just wanting to improve your physical fitness, their highly trained staff will help you get back to the activities you enjoy. To learn more, call 307-875-4654 or stop in at 330 Upland Way in Green River. Birch Family Dentistry, serving Sweetwater County with professional service and friendly staff. Featuring comprehensive service including general dentistry, cosmetic dentistry, dental implants, root canals, and extractions. It doesn't stop there. With same-day crowns, family dentistry, 32 CBCT, and sleep apnea treatment available as well. Get your appointment with Birch Family Dentistry in Green River at 875-3658. Our community. We love it. We live it. We support it. Trona Valley is your local credit union and we're proud to invest in relationships that go far beyond banking. We're proud to invest in the lives of our young members and their participation in sports. Green River Wolves are champions in our community and we're here to support you all the way, on the field, on the court, or elsewhere. Together, let's develop successful financial habits. You got this. We're here for you. Go Wolves! Trona Valley member and CUA membership required. TronaValley.com. Come see Paradise Flooring for all your home remodel needs. Now offering our highly sought after, easily installed and maintenance free culture marble showers by Tiberian. This is our newest addition along with Amsco windows, flooring and our full line of custom cabinets and countertops for any size and budget. We offer full installation with licensed installers and warranty all of our work. Locally owned and operated, come see us today at 2642 Commercial Way or call 362-8453. Welcome back to the ball game here, and up to hit here is going to be Sell Terry with the pitch, and this is going to get hit into shallow center field, and that will be a base hit for Sell on the first pitch of the ball game. Here for the Lady Wolves, and that's going to be a single fielded by White. Randolph up next to hit here. All right, here, taking off the sweatshirt here. It's getting a little too hot out there with the catcher gear on. It's starting to warm up out there. Score still tied up 0-0, bottom of the first. And 
in off up to the plate. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be high here for ball one. And a little bit of a miscommunication there as I think Terry thought that Allred was trying to throw somebody out at second and threw it over to Terry and got hit with the throw. She's good to go. Here's the pitch, and this is hit into center field, and White makes the play at center field. That's going to be out number one. At White here is fielded both balls that have been hit into play. And has got one out. Morgan Goki, the pitcher up to bat now. He's got a runner at first here with Sell. One away. Still bottom of the first, all tied up here, 0-0. Zero, zero. Terry with the pitch, and that's gonna be it's gonna be close here. They tried the throw out at first. I don't think they got it in time. And I think that's going to go in as a ball. So 1-0 count. One away. Here's the pitch. This is fouled off here for a strike. one one count coming up. Here's the pitch from Terry. And that is swung on and missed. One, two count. One away. Hayden Terry with the pitch. And that is chopped up, and that's going to be a fly out and shortstop, and Amashi Wild makes the play. Good job there from the freshman to get underneath that one. So two away. Hartman up to bat. Here's the pitch, and this is fouled off, and that's going to be strike number one. Oh, on count, two away. Runner at first is Sale. Terry to the mound. Here's the pitch. And this one is hit up the, and that's going to be ground ball that sinks past second base. Base hit. And they thought about going home, but they do not. They're going to stay at third and advances uh, advances Hartman to first on the base hit. Now O'Brien up to hit here. Number 13 has runners in the corners with two away. Terry looking to put a end to the inning here. And this first pitch is going to get fouled off. The fences here at this field here get a little scary up in this crow's nest. And all the balls seem to go a little bit towards me. This one hasn't been as bad as yesterday. I almost had two come in to the booth here. And the second one is grounded to second. And Mag makes the play over to first. And that's going to end the inning. The score stays 0-0 as we head to the top of the second. We're going to take a break. Be back right after this. The employees at Mountain West Energy Services proudly support the Green River Wolves. Being a locally owned family run business, they understand the importance of standing behind a student athlete. As owner and CEO, Alan Meredith raised three of them. From completing and repairing wells to capping wells to point to point trucking services, Mountain West Energy Services, the go to oil field company, stellar in safety and service. Mountain West Energy Services, wishing all the wolves and lady wolves the best of luck this sports season. If you want to be one step above the competition, see the friendly and knowledgeable staff at Peak Performance Physical Therapy. This is Haley Strauss, owner and physical therapist, and I'm here on the sidelines with the goal of getting you back on the move to perform your best in the game. Whether you're injured in sports, at work, or at home, see us for your physical therapy needs. We promise to give you individualized treatment in a hometown atmosphere provided by staff that truly care about your recovery. Peak Performance Physical Therapy is the only locally owned and operated physical therapy game in town. Look for the red roof at the top of the business park. We sit above the rest at 140 Commerce Drive in Green River, 8 
Complete Chiropractics in Green River is 100% behind the Green River Wolves. Growing up in Green River has brought their experienced staff a huge amount of wolf pride. And to show it, they're offering $25 credit on game day to athletes and their families. Complete Chiropractics, a proud supporter of Green River Athletics. Located on Commerce Drive in Green River, give Complete Chiropractics a call today at 875-4325. We'll go back to the ball game here as we got Taryn Avery up to bat here. And the first pitch was a tad inside here. Here's the second pitch. And this is swung on and hit. And that'll go out to you left field. They make the play, but that's going to be a base hit for Terry. Uh, excuse me, for Taryn Avery. And she'll get the first. So Shiner up next to bat now here for the Lady Wolves. She's got a runner at first. Gilkey still up to pitch. This is going to be her 23rd pitch of the ball game. Here it is, and that's going to be a ball here for the first pitch of this at bat. 1-0 count. Runner at first, no outs. Still tied 0-0, top of the second. This game moving a little bit faster than the one yesterday. This one's going to be bunted right straight down. They're going to say that goes foul. So this will be a 1-1 count coming up. Shiner there tried to put that one straight down there. Did a good job, but it, it, she put it straight down, and then it just didn't roll in fair. Just absolutely stayed dead. Did not move at all. So 1-1 one, one count. Back to the plate here, and she'll foul this one off as well on a bunt. So one, two count now. Back to the mound. Shiner showing bunt. She's bunted the last two times. She pulls up this time and she'll swing at this one and that's going to fall fair. But they make the play at second to get the force. She'll be safe at first, but they do get an out still on the play. Oh, we actually have an injury on the field here. Is looks like Taryn Avery's a little slow to get up here. We're gonna take a break here. We'll let the coaches look at her. We'll be back after this. You all know the oil can in Green River can take care of your engine needs, but did you also know they can fix your windshield as well? If you have a cracked windshield, stop by the oil can for an estimate. They can also fix those small chips so that you don't have to replace your entire glass. It's just one of the many services provided at the oil can. Let the professionals at the oil can get you back down the road safely. The oil can at 1365 East Teton Boulevard next to the Loafing Jug in Green River. Well, welcome back here as they got Avery off of the field here, needed help here from her coach. And she started, she's favoring one of her legs there. Still was able to put weight on it. They didn't have to uh, help her out too much. They just had uh, coach help her uh, kind of lean against her. But still, hopefully it's nothing too serious as we get back to the ball game here. As we got Mag up to bat now. Wait, awaiting her first pitch of the ball game, and here it is. This one's going to be high for ball one. Mag back into the batter's box here. Shows bunt. Has a runner at first, pulls back. Here's the swing, and that's going to be high. And that will be fielded by the second baseman. And that will be a pop out in the infield. Sale makes the play at second. And next up to bat now is Imogen Wild. Awaiting her first at-bat of the ball game. 
And here it is. Steps in, and she will not swing at that one, but that's going to be a very close strike there, but 0-1 count coming up. Waiting the second pitch. Here it is. This one swung on and hit into the infield, and that's going to be another pop out, and that's going to end the top of the inning. Shortstop makes the play, and the score stays 0-0, heading to the bottom of the second. We're going to take a break here. We'll be back for the Lady Wolves on defense after this. Broadcast is proudly brought to you by the employees at Tata Chemicals. The employees at Tata Chemicals encourages all fans to rally around good sportsmanship. Your actions in the stands will reflect on the players on the field, so be sure to cheer for your team, but do so with class. Best of luck to all athletes in Southwest Wyoming as you play hard for your team and your town. Again, best of luck today from all the employees at Tata Chemicals. Proud to be a member of the Southwest Wyoming Trona Patch. At Davidson Chiropractic Clinic, they want to make sure you're well and adjusted for maximum summer fun. They're always accepting new patients. And besides chiropractic adjustments and treating auto and work injuries, they offer massage therapy, electrotherapy, lifestyle advice, and much more. Davidson Chiropractic Clinic offers sports physicals and DOT physicals. Call today to make an appointment for the school athlete in your family before the school year begins. 382-0600 or stop in and see them at 2624 Commercial Way, Suite A in Rock Springs. Don't let pain stop you from having fun this summer. Visit Davidson Chiropractic Clinic. Jaeger's Auto Body in downtown Green River is a proud sponsor of Green River Wolves broadcasts. Jaeger's Auto Body has been proudly providing quality auto body service to the Green River and Rock Springs area since 1972. Located at 360 West Flaming Gorge Way in Green River, call 307-875-2448. That's 875-2448. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Closed for lunch from noon to 1. Welcome back to the ball game here. And Taryn Avery coming back onto the field here to play first base. As she is getting ready to go. So she's looks like she's ready to go after that. She went out there after the she slid into second. Had a little bit of a leg injury. Was able to get off the field, and now she's back in to play first. Not even a half inning later, so some toughness out there from her. First ball here is going to be a ball. And the second one here is swung on and missed. So a 1-1 count very quickly here to start off the bottom of the second. Still tied up here, 0-0. Up to bat here is Sale, number five for the Phillies. And here's the hit that's going to get grounded to third. Gina makes the play over to first, and that's going to be an out. That was a hard ground ball there. Good job there from Barajas. But, excuse me, I lost my breath that point through Barajas. And that's going to be an out. <laughs> that, was, that was a bad time to <laughs> lose my breath there. Excuse me. Oh, I get too excited here for softball. Here, first out uh, the inning here for the Lady Wolves. And up next to bat here is the catcher, as Malson. Takes the first pitch here for a strike. 0 1 count, one away. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be high for ball one. I'll hit the back fence here, but no runners on though, so it doesn't do any damage. One away, 1 1 count. Here comes the pitch from Terry. That's going to be fouled off. That's strike two here. Hayden Terry having a good game on the mound here so far. Not even 20 pitches in, and we're almost to the third inning. Only has one out here so far in the second, so let me knock on wood, not trying to jinx anything. And here's the pitch. That's going to be swung on, and oh, that's not able to be fielded by Imaji, or Imogen, excuse me. And that's going to be a base hit. That one had a little bit of velocity behind that one. Looks like we got Gomez up to hit now, number 28. Here's the pitch. There's a swung on, and that's going to fall for a base hit as it gets past Mag. 
And Malson thought about turning second, going to third, but she'll stay at second. Base hit here for Gomez. Up next to bat here is going to be number 24. And that is Crawford here, the left fielder. Her first at bat of the ball game here in this bottom of the lineup here for them. Here's the swing, and this hit is going to be into center field. White not able to get underneath it as that was shallow center field. And this will stay as only a base hit. Loose ball here. They don't take the opportunity to go for home. But base is loaded. White's having a good job here at center field. But base is loaded here. Next up to hit here is going to be number eight. Here's a swing, and that's going to get fouled off. As this is Parker up to bat, 0-1 count. And uh, the coach here, talking with the umpire here, I think she's trying to figure out uh, this is the DP or as McIndaffer. This should, I don't know if this is, yeah, this is the 10th batter. I thought the last batter was going to be bottom of the lineup here because uh, the pitcher already hit too. So let's see. Now they're going to talk this over here. We'll take a quick 30-second break here. Be back after this. Mommy, Daddy put the dent in the car. At Frank's Auto Body, we understand that accidents happen. Frank's Auto Body is a proud supporter of Green River Wolves Athletics. Buy custom paint and auto body experts. They'll have your vehicle repaired and back to you quickly. Plus, you'll get a written lifetime warranty. So when your vehicle is in need of body work, think Frank's Auto Body and go Wolves. Call 875-7752. 875-7752. Frank's Auto Body. We fix it like it wasn't broken. I'm not supposed to tell. All right, still talking things over here. I figure I come back here as don't know how long this is gonna take here, but Coach McIndaffer trying to get everything sorted away here. And if anyone, I don't know if anyone's able to see me do the scoring on Game Changer, as um, it's probably better on the uh, <laughs> on the uh, official uh, teams one. Uh, I did mess up. As I said, I always, for some reason, I don't know what it is, but I think it's because they're both pitchers. In my mind, I always want to switch around Hayden Terry and Taryn Avery, and so I got them switched around on the batting order. I have the pitching right as I got Terry pitching, but in the batting order, I got them switched around. So if you guys are watching on that and you notice it, I do apologize. I don't know why I always, I just, if one of them wears number one, one of them wears number 19, Hayden Terry, and then I think Taryn Avery because of the Terry. I don't know what it is. I always mix them up. I know it's wrong on the Game Changer if you're watching on that, so I do. If you guys are able to, I don't know. This is my first time using it this weekend, so I do apologize about that. But hopefully uh, I won't make that mistake again as uh, just trying to get it hammered back into my brain here. And so it looks like oh, we're still talking things over here. I think McIndaffer might have a point here. So we'll see um, some of the assistant coaches for the Lady Wolves don't seem too pleased. Um, we're going to take another break here. We're going to let them sort this out here, and we'll get back to the softball game here soon. China Garden Restaurant and Sports Bar. They have been serving Sweetwater County for over 40 years. Come check out their buffet from 11.30 to 2 or come watch your favorite game and enjoy a micro brew on tap. They offer Chinese and American cuisine and their service is second to none. Come down, play a game of pool or bring the whole family and enjoy a nice dinner. Located at 190 North 5th East Street, Green River. Open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 9. Sunday, 11 to 8. Monday, they are closed. The China Garden Restaurant and Sports Bar. The housing market is 
well complicated to say the least. In today's market, you need experience on your side to sell your home for the most money and Brokerage Southwest brings over 25 years of experience serving Sweetwater County. If you're looking to take advantage of the seller's market, give Kelly Palmer a call at 362-1275. Their group of 10 agents can find the ideal buyer for your home. Don't wait. There aren't many houses for sale, so make yours stand out with the help of an agent at Brokerage Southwest. 362-1275. The Green River Bowling Center is everything you could ask for for family entertainment in Green River. Bring the whole family down for open bowling during the week. And every Saturday is one to remember with Cosmic Bowling starting at 7 o'clock. Enjoy delicious meals either brought out to you at the lanes or in their restaurant. The Green River Bowling Center has all the ingredients for a family night out. The Green River Bowling Center. Find them on Uena Drive for the family entertainment you've been looking for. Eye accidents happen more than you think. That's why Desert View Eye Care has added another impressive doctor to their roster, Dr. Meekum. Dr. Meekum has joined Dr. Wilson at Desert View Eye Care, where Dr. Wilson has served the Sweetwater County community for the last 18 years. They have the newest technology and techniques for every member of the family, including children, adults, and seniors. Schedule your appointment today by calling 307-875-3399. They're open Monday through Wednesday, 8 to 5, Thursday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Friday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Desert View Eye Care, serving all your family's eye care needs. Whether you're driving through or sitting on down, breakfast, lunch, and dinner is calling for you at the Hitching Post Restaurant in Green River. Get a hold of their breakfast burrito. You're going to need two hands for that. Or get everything you need for breakfast on one plate with a skillet. Their famous soup and salad bar has it all laid out for you. And their dinner specials make any family night a memorable one. The Hitching Post Restaurant in Green River, a proud supporter of Green River Wolves athletics and activities. When it comes to auto parts and tools, your best bet is Napa Auto Parts Unlimited in Green River and Rock Springs. Napa is locally owned and proud to support all local activities. Open seven days a week to serve your every need. Have a question? Let the experience of Napa go to work for you. All your automotive parts can be found at Napa Auto Parts Unlimited. Do or drive in Rock Springs and you win a drive in Green River. Jeanette at Green River Insurance is here to help you protect your home, your auto, your family, and your business. Green River Insurance does things the Wyoming way. By being locally owned and operated, Jeanette believes that her clients are the most valuable asset of any policy. With flexible hours that meet your needs, why aren't you doing insurance the Wyoming way? So call Jeanette today at 307-875-5078 or stop in and see her at 900 West Flaming Gorge Way. So, I just got the State Farm Personal Price Plan on my car insurance. So you told your agent you play the bagpipes for your dog? What? No, I didn't get that. Personal, my agent just helped me create an affordable price just for me. Okay, let me show you what I've been working on. Hey, Buster! Contact State Farm agent Amber Kramer to create your personal price plan today. Prices vary by state. Options selected by customer. Availability and eligibility may vary. At Why High, our members are owners of the credit union, so we're always looking for ways to go above and beyond to help our member owners achieve their dreams, big or small. At the core of everything we do is our value of advocacy. We're with you is more than just three simple words. It encompasses the principles we live by to serve our members and our local communities. So if you're looking to keep your banking relationships local with a partner who will always be there for you, look to us. We're Why High. We're with you. We are Wyoming. Visit whyhigh.org to learn how you can be a part of something bigger today. Same coursework, lower cost. By coming to Western your first two years, you can save $34,000 on average before transferring. Sorry to cut that off here, but we had a little dance battle here from the Detrona County Phillies here. They're getting, <laughs> they're just waiting for this game to get back. We're still, uh, still uh, talking with the officials here, trying to get everything sorted out here. I don't know if it's it, it. She would be the tenth batter. Um, she's not playing on offense. I don't know if 
you know, you can have a, it, it, it gets confusing because I know you can have a, uh, a, a DP, but uh, the pitcher already hit as well, so they're just trying to figure everything out here. I don't know if it just wasn't on the lineup, and so then uh, I don't know if that has to be a preset thing that you're having 10 hitters or what, but um, yeah, the, the, <laughs> the Trona County Phillies here having a dance battle out here, and so. Uh, still awaiting here. We'll go back to the commercials here, but just wanted to, we've been on a break here for a couple minutes. I just want to give everyone a, a, uh, a, an update here, but we're still just waiting up here. So hopefully we'll get back to the action here soon. Students at Western have the luxury of participating in a hands-on learning environment with an average 11 to 1 faculty to student ratio. There are plenty of student life activities and scholarship opportunities to take advantage of. Also, make sure to check out our new cybersecurity and outdoor recreation programs. Apply today at westernwyoming.edu forward slash apply. Hi, Mary here from the Window and Door Store to talk about our Larson Storm Doors. We have updated models on display, in stock, and we can order to match your home style. From full glass or half glass, retractable self-storing screens, select models available with pet doors. From budget-friendly options or durable, longer-lasting aluminum frames, you can customize sizes in certain models and we provide installation. So contact us today at 875-2564 or visit our showroom at 900 West Flaming Gorge Way, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., the Window and Door Store. Welcome back here and still, still got another dance battle going on here now with the Phillies as they kind of formed a circle. I wonder if the Lady Wolf should just go and join that at this point here. Still waiting on this game to get back underway here. Uh, coach here uh, still talking with the officials here, trying to get everything sorted here, trying to make sure we get a nice fair game here trying to see make sure everything's done right and i think the officials even had to pull out the rule book here so we're still waiting here on the official call here as they're thumbing through the rule books here and let's see if we can get a little zoom in here yeah they're they're going through the rule books here and coach mackendaffer talking with them here so don't know maybe a rule updated that even i'm not aware of I, i'm not too sure what the uh, correct uh call here is for being uh with the 10th batter and, and the dp I, I don't know we're gonna see here it looks like uh i don't see number eight oh parker that was supposed to be out there batting here uh before everything went down um let's see bases are still loaded here with uh with mouse and Gomez and Crawford on plate and oh wait no there's Parker right there I think I can't tell with the ponytail if that's number eight or number six because number six um it's supposed to be top of the lineup no I think that is number six so I, I think uh yeah, I think coach here may have been on to something here I don't think Parker's gonna get a chance here so I think they're gonna have to revert this and it will not be will not be Parker here. So let's see. Still waiting on the official call here. And uh yeah. Hopefully we'll we'll get back to the action here soon. We've been on delay here for almost ten minutes. And I may have been actually ten minutes by now, so we're gonna take another thirty second break. And hopefully hopefully we're back to the action after these 30 seconds. Former University of Wyoming quarterback Josh Allen is worthy of Wyoming. 23 plays into my first start here at the University of Wyoming. I dropped back, kind of went through a progression. I saw the middle of the field kind of open up. I decided to lower my shoulder. His helmet went straight into my collarbone here. We landed on the 20 yard line. At that moment, I knew something was really bad. Welcome back here, that was a minute commercial there. Didn't know that was the one that was up next. But we're getting back to the action. So, yes, it will be back to the top of the lineup here as Coach McIndaffer won her appeal. So, Parker will not get any at bat here. And Avery, there's, excuse me, Avery's still out there at first. She looks good to go. And Terry up to pitch. First pitch is a tad high here for ball one.
Here's the second pitch. That one's going to be outside. Third pitch coming up. Here it is. That's going to get swung on and grounded up. The center of the field, it'll be filled up by White, but it looks like they're going to get two runners home here on the double on the slap bunt that goes straight down the middle. So two RBI there as Malson and Gomez get home. Crawford now at third, Sell at second, and the score is now 2-0 in favor of the Phillies. Up next to bat here is going to be Randolph. First pitch here is going to be high for ball one. One oh count, one away, runners at second and third. 2-0 lead here for the Phillies. Second pitch here, that's going to be high as well here for ball two. Trying to get settled back in here. It was a long break here for, for Terry, so kind of able to rest the arm a little bit, but maybe it was a little too much of a rest. This next one here is fouled off here for a strike. So 2-1 two count, two away, or rather just one away. Runners at second and third. Back to the plate here is Randolph. Here's the pitch. And that's going to fall in here for a second. And I can't see the official call there. I think he called that one a ball here. Yeah, that was ball three. I thought that dropped in for the strike. This next one, though, is fouled off here. And this will be a full count, 3-2 count. And the Lady Wolves looking for the second out of the inning. Terry awaiting the ball to get back to her from the outfield. That one got hit right up the fence there as Imogen Wild is actually the one to run back and get it. As the freshman throws it into the pitcher and Terry with the delivery, here it is. That's going to be hit for a base hit up the third baseline. And this is going to be a double here and a two RBI here for Randolph. She thought about turning to third, but she won't do so. And this has made it a 4-0 ball game. Number 14, Morgan Goki up to bat now here for the Phillies. Her team's up 4-0. Only one out. Here's the pitch. And this is going to be grounded off, and there's a sneak by uh, Wild here. And the throw from the outfield by Kelly is not in time as the runner is safe at home, and Goki will advance to second. That was a hard ground ball there. And that got out there to the left field. Randolph is safe. And still only one out here in the bottom of the second. The score is now 5-0. We were all tied up here moving into the bottom of the fifth. But a nice rally here so far from the Phillies. They're going to have a pitch runner as they're going to have number 20 come in here for Goki. As this is another Randolph subbing in. And Hartman awaiting her at bat here. Now the Natrona coach talking things with the official. And looks like we're good to go. As the umpire gets set here. Hartman to the plate. Here's the pitch. And this is hit hard up the center of the field. This is going to be a base in. It looks like this is going to be an RBI here. For Hartman. And she's going to advance to second as the throw went to home. And a nice heads up play there from Hartman. And this is going to be another run here for the Phillies. So still only one out here. Coach McIndaffer talking it over here with her team at the mound. They've allowed six runs this inning. Not having their best start to this ball game compared to what they did yesterday against Kelly Walsh. Could have been a little bit tired. That game did run pretty late here. 
I do know the Natrona and Rock Springs game did get done a tad bit earlier. And from the looks of it, I think Natrona has a little bit deeper of a lineup here. And so they may have been able to play some more backups yesterday during that uh, that second game against Rock Springs. They did lose their conference game against Rock Springs yesterday, but did win the second game. And so let's see what coach decides to do here. I don't think she would make a change yet here at pitcher. She will not. Terry's going to stay in. Only 31 pitches in just and had a great first inning here. Just right now the Phillies are just having some fantastic plate vision, not really chasing anything. So Terry back to the mound here as O'Brien goes to hit. Here's the pitch. That's going to be high here for ball one. Some fantastic plate vision so far here from Natona County. Second pitch coming up. Here it is. That's going to be swung on and hit to left field. Kelly gets under it, and that's going to be out. Out number two here of the inning. On the fly ball to left field. Two away. One more out here, and the Lady Wolves will stop the bleeding. Up next to bat here is Sale. Has a runner at second with Hartman. Here's just the pitch. And this is swung on and fouled off. This is going to go over the back fence here for strike one. Second pitch coming up here. Of this at bat here for Terry. Only 30. This is going to be your 35th pitch of the ball game. This pitch is a tad low as it skips over to Allroot for ball one. Does a good job blocking it and keeps the runner at second. I wouldn't if I'm a if I'm Natrona County. I'm not trying to steal to third on against Allroot. This pitch though is going to get hit into left field on the ground ball and this is going to advance the runner from second to home. It's going to be another run here this inning. For the Phillies. Oh seven 7 is the score. Lady Wolves are down. And Malson up to hit the catcher. She has a runner at first. And she'll swing on the first one. And this is going to sneak past Wild again here. They're doing a good job with the ball placement. Just getting it right between shortstop and third base each and every time. And this will advance Malson to second. Some hard ground balls here each and every time here from the Phillies. Up next to bat here is Gomez as we're almost to the bottom of the lineup again. Runners at second and third, only two away. Score 7-0. Phillies are up big. Here's the pitch. This is swung on and it's going to get hit into shallow center field. White makes the play. But they'll get a runner in from third. And this will be a single for Gomez. Sale makes it to home base, no problem. Runners in the corners. Crawford up to bat. Bottom of the lineup. This next pitch, you know, we're taking a timeout here. As Allred signaling over to Terry. I think they're maybe going to set up a, a throw out at first. Allred will try to throw her out in and not in time. Very close there. Good job there from Allred and Taryn Avery at first base. Very close there, but just not in time. That first pitch was a ball. On the pitch out, the second one is swung on, and this will be a loose ball, but good job by Allred to pick it up. No runners advance. 1-1 one, one count, one away. Or two away, excuse me. Runners in the corners. Crawford back to the plate. Here's the pitch, and this is going to be in for, let's see, that's going to be in for a strike. Just painted the corner on that one. Good pitch from Terry. She's awaiting her 42nd pitch of the ballgame here. 
And this is swung on and missed, but dropped on the third strike. Allred makes the throw to first, and that's going to end the inning. The score, 8-0. to zero. Lady Wolves head back on offense here soon. And we're going to take a break. Be back for the top of the third after this. Broken in multiple places, and it required um, hardware fixation with the plate in order to get it back together. It was devastating news to me and my family, just knowing that you know it could have ended 23 plays in. We had no question whether we could perform the surgery here, given our wider range of uh, varying subspecialties within orthopedics. I would recommend Premier Bone and Joint Centers. The thing that made me feel really comfortable with them was they made it feel like your own family. I think he'll have no problem performing in the NFL. His rehab and his recovery have uh, done very well, and I don't see any restrictions on him whatsoever. They want the best for you, and they won't steer you wrong. Let us show you why we're worthy of Wyoming. When my patients are happy, I'm happy. I was exercising, and I could not continue to do the full rotation of my shoulder like I once had. Don had a rotated cuff tear in her shoulder. It's a very common diagnosis that people get as they get older. I've not experienced a surgeon like Dr. Allred. He is just very thorough, very patient, very kind. I think there's no reason to go to a bigger town when you have the expertise right here in your backyard. Welcome back to the ball game here. The score right now is 8-0 here as the Lady Wolves get ready for their first at-bat here of the inning. Up to hit here is going to be White. Yes, this is going to be her first bat of the ball game. Her first at bat, excuse me, of the ball game. Still in the pitch here is Goki. Let's see here. I'm trying to find Goki back on the thing here. Here's the pitch, and this is going to be fouled out here for strike one. Here's the pitch and a hit over to shortstop and White, I think, got there in time. She's safe at first. Good job there from White to hustle that one out and get the single. So White on base. Back to the top of the lineup here, Izzy Kelly. Getting ready to hit here for her second at bat of the ball game. She grounded out in the first inning. Had a fantastic game last night here. This one, she's going to foul off here on the slap butt attempt. That's going to be strike one. So 0 1 count. No outs here. Runner at first. Lady Wolf's down eight. Second pitch here is going to be a tad inside here. That's going to be. Ball one. One one count. Here's the pitch. And Kelly gets this one down here. Is running for first, and she'll get there in time, but they get the throw out to White at oh no, it skipped and not able to get the out at second either. So no out still. And some hard running out there from White and Kelly. So Gina Barajas up to bat now. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be high here for ball one. 1-0 one -oh count, no outs. Runners at first and second. Lady Wolves looking to make a rally. Having a good start to this inning so far. But they have a lot of ground to cover here. And this one, she's going to try the bunt there, but couldn't get, uh, couldn't get the bat on it. And that's going to be strike one. One one count. Third pitch of this at bat. Goki approaching forty on the ball game. Here it is, and she gets the bunt down, but that's going to go foul. 
A lot of balls hit in the top of the uh, crow's nest here from the opposite field here from the Lady Tigers and the Lady Trojans ball game. I'm going to get a score on that game here. The next time we take a break, I'll run over there and give you guys an update on that one as well. This ball here is grounded over to short. They get the out at second, but safe at first. So Kelly's out, but runners in the corners now. As the ground ball gets Kelly out at first. So Hayden Terry up to bat here. Here's the pitch. That's going to be in for a strike. Oh, one count, one away, runners in the corners. As Barajas has actually advanced from first to second. So no more runners in the corners here as she stole on the last pitch. They didn't try a throw down there. Uh, but this next one is a strike as well here. Oh, two count, one away. Here's the pitch, and this is going to be hit for a ground ball here. Very shallow ground ball, and this is fielded by the pitcher. But this will advance a runner home, and the Lady Wolves get a run on the board as Allie White makes it to the home base. And that's going to be an RBI here for Terry. Does not make it to first safely, but at least got the runner in. And here's the first pitch, and this is swung on and contact made here by Cody Allred. That's going to be another RBI and a base hit here for Cody Allred. Nice ground ball up the left side of the field. Snuck past second and third base. Got fielded by left field. As I believe that is Crawford out there. She was playing earlier. She took her jacket off if it is still her. I can't see the number quite quite right and right now here uh, officials talking over to uh, oh no they're still going to have Taryn Avery go out there Let's see here. Getting everything fixed here on my game changer. And now here with Avery out there. First two pitches go one ball, one strike. And we're all good to go. Already at first. Here's the pitch. This is swung on, and it's going to be hit into shallow left field. That's going to fall out of bounds here. Foul ball. So one two count coming up with two outs. Avery back to bat here. She's still walking around with a little bit of a limp here, but just sticking through it. Don't know if it's just a little bit of a stinger or what, but she is showing some toughness out there. Still. Getting ready here to play even on a, it seems to be a little bit of a bum ankle. Here's the pitch. She shows bunt, swings, and gets this in the shallow left field. That's going to be a base hit here for Taryn Avery. She'll get to first, and Allred will make it all the way around to third. Nice job there from Avery. I wonder if they're going to sub her out here on a pinch runner. They will not. Shiner up to bat now. Now oh, they will now sub her out. 
And it looks like Ruben, uh, Reich actually is going to go in. Number 18. She did a little bit of pitching last night here. Now let's see here. Waiting on everything here. And Emma Reich will be the courtesy runner. And Shiner is up to bat here, but uh, Coach McIndaffer making sure she gets everything properly substituted here. Don't know if they're going to put her in at first here. I believe they're just going to have her in as a courtesy runner here and keep Taryn Avery out for defense. But she's showing some toughness out there. So up to hit here is Chasey Shiner. Here's the pitch. Two away runners in the corner. First one is going to be in for a strike. And, oh, Cody Allred steals home. Oh, no, they said they – nope. Okay. She did steal home. At first they said – that she was out and then reverted it to safe. It looked like she was on time, and she was. So a nice heads-up play there from Cody Allred as they tried to throw it over to first to get Emma out. But a good job there, good heads-up play from Allred to steal home. So the Lady Wolves are now at three runs. Philly's still at eight, but chomping into the lead a little bit here at the top of the third. As Goki approaching 50 pitches, here it is. And this is going to be a ground ball up the center of the field, base hit, and the runners advance. No outs, and Daniel Mag up to bat next. So Mag here, one of the better power hitters on this ball team. She's going to show bunt. And the first pitch is a tad high here. No, it's going to fall in for a strike. 0-1 count, two away. Runners at first and second with Reich and Shiner. And this one's going to be a hit to third, and they'll get the tag out. And that's going to end the inning. The score, 8-3, to three, Lady Wolves. Starting to come back a little bit. They scored three runs that inning. We're going to take a break. We'll be back for the bottom of the third right after this. First Bank, now in the same location at 601 North Front for 109 years. They understand the importance of local spending. Local spending means a strong economy. Spending at home means local jobs. It means more sales tax revenues. The dollars that support our cities and towns in turn support us. And deposits from local businesses turn into local loans. And profits fund local charities and youth programs. A win, win, win. First Bank of Wyoming, Division of Glacier Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender, encouraging you to support your own. Spend at home. Hi there, it's Les Schwab Tires. But if you don't know us, we want to introduce ourselves as Les Schwab Alignment and Brakes and Shocks and Wheels and Tires. Now, some tire places don't offer all that. They only sell tires. And we're not sure how they sleep at night because all those services affect things like steering and stopping. That's why we offer more than tires to help keep you safe. Stop by or book an appointment at LesSchwab.com. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. Welcome back to the ball game here. The score, 8-3, to three, bottom of the third. And the Lady Wolves here still with the same players here on defense. as Taryn Avery here, kind of the story so far here. She's still going to be out there here at first, even though she kind of roughed up her ankle a little bit. But she's fighting through it at showing some absolute strength here. As you can see, her kind of walking a little gingerly back to first there. But she's sticking it out here and showing some toughness here. And it's just, even on that little bum ankle, or I, I don't, I'm not too sure if it's an ankle issue or like a, a calf or, or or what. If she's just dealing with a little bit of a stinger, if it or what's going on, but she uh, got a uh, she got a base hit in the last inning here, uh, at the top of the inning here for the Lady Wolves, as they scored three runs, and so she's still playing some very valuable softball here out there, and. Uh, just sticking it out there for her team. And so the officials here, they're talking with 
with Blair over here, and uh, I think uh, they might be because they did put in a runner for Avery when she was out there. Uh, after she got the base hit, got to first, they put in Reich as a uh, runner for her. Uh, could have been a courtesy runner, though, but I'm not too sure uh, uh, since she's not pitching right now if uh, how the uh, exact rules are for that. So that that's, looks like that's what they're talking things over here with the officials. And so we'll see. Um, I don't know. <laughs> they had a uh, they had Avery turn around there to see her number, even though the numbers on the front of her jersey too. I think they thought maybe it, it can look like 15. Maybe they thought she was number 15 for a second. So try and make sure they have the exact number. And it looks like we're ready to go. So still waiting on the official here. Talking with the two coaches. Uh, one of the coaches here for Natrona County went back to first. Uh, third base coach still talking with the official as well as uh, Coach McIndaffer from the Lady Wolves. And we're getting ready to go. And so I do believe that they thought maybe she was a pinch runner. And trying to, I think they were just explaining that it was a courtesy runner. So she wasn't subbing in for her, just... And not on defense, just going in there uh, for uh, for the offensive side. So up to bat here is Sale. She'll swing on the first one, gets it down. Mag gets to it, but I don't think the throw's in time. That's going to be a single on the bunt. First pitch of the inning here for Terry. And a nice play there from the leadoff hitter for the Phillies. So Randolph up to bat now here for the Phillies. Scores 8-3. No outs. Runner at first. Here's the pitch. And Oliver tries to throw her out at first. And the tag is not in time. The throw was. But some speed there from Cell. Able to get her foot on the bag before Avery could swing her glove around. 1-0 count. The second pitch here is going to be in for a ball as well. 2-0 count. Terry back to the mound here, approaching 50 pitches on the night. Oh, I guess on the afternoon. This third pitch here, they try to throw down again at first. They don't get it in time, but that ball was called in for a strike. Or pitch, excuse me, was called in for a strike. 2-1 count, no outs. Here's the pitch. And a good job framing it there, but they won't give her the... The favorable call here, as that's going to go as a ball here for ball three. 3-1 three, count. Here's the swing and the hit into left center field. It's going to be base hit. White fields it, makes the throw over to third, and Gina able to get to it. But that's going to be a double now here for Randolph. So runners at second and third with Randolph at Second, sell at third. And up to bat here is going to be Goki. Here's the pitch. Here's the swing, and that's going to be fouled off. Here's strike one. This next one here is going to be swung on and hit to center field. White makes the play on it, but this is going to be a base hit, and Goki will run to second and will get there for the double. Runner advances from third to home, and some nice, some nice hitting here so far for the Phillies. Score nine to three. 
a courtesy runner in for Goki as Randolph will go back out there, number 20. And they're going to make a pitching change here. And they're going to move Taryn Avery to pitcher. So Taryn Avery will pitch here for the Lady Wolves. She's going to warm up a little bit. So we'll take a break here. And we'll be back for the rest of this third inning right after this. If you're looking to get into a pre-owned vehicle, First Choice Ford has a fully stocked inventory for you to choose from. Maybe you're wanting to upgrade your existing truck to a newer half or three-quarter ton. Stop by 1264 Dewar Drive today and take one for a drive. Mid to full-size SUVs as well as a good selection of crew cars. You'll be shopping at the largest selection in western Wyoming. Zero down and top value for your trade-in. All vehicles are discounted, so stop by or check online at firstchoiceford.net. Hi, this is Shyla Sims with Solvay. The employees at Solvay would like to wish all activities the best of luck this season. We would also like to remind you to rally around good sports. Being a good sport, whether you are playing or in the stands, is something to hang your hat on. Please rally around good sportsmanship. Also, we take safety serious at Solvay, and we hope you have a safe experience while playing or traveling to activities. Again, best of luck to you from all the employees at Solvay Chemicals. Whatever activity it is you're doing that may put your back out of whack, give the Arnold Family Chiropractic staff a call today at 875-1926. They offer effective care for everyone of all ages. So whether it's outdoor fun, athletics, or you're just needing to get that adjustment, see Dr. Tom Arnold at 665 Uena Drive in Green River, offering care for over 15 years. Set up your appointment at Arnold Family Chiropractic today. Give them a call at 875-1926. Welcome back to the ball game here, and Terry with the first pitch of the ball game here for her is going to go in for a ball. So, Taryn Avery moves to pitcher. Hayden Terry moves to shortstop. Imogen Wild moves to second. Chasey Shiner moves from right field to first. And did they just get the throw out there at third? They did. Cody Allred there with the heads up play gets the throw out at third. So a nice job there from Cody Allred. And we got a, a uh, 2 0 count here. Or uh, rather, excuse me, 3 0 count. 3 0 count. Avery with the pitch. That's going to be a tad outside, and that's going to be ball four. That one was close there, but Hartman will get the walk here. Up next to bat, here's O'Brien. But uh, anyway, going back to the lineup here, so Mag moves to right field. Shiner moves from right field to first. Imogen replaces Mag at second, and Terry replaces Imogen at shortstop. And so just move them all around here as, as Avery here back on the mound here. And this pitch is going to be another ball here. I wonder if this, if uh, she's a little bothered here on the mound here from her ankle. As she roughed it up a little bit earlier on a slide to second. But still out there and delivers a strike on this one here. 1-1 one, one count with one away. Runners at first and second. Avery back to mound. Here's the pitch. There's a swung on and hit to short, and I'd uh, rather to second. And Imogen Wild makes the play, and that's going to be out number two. So number five up to bat now as Lexi Sale. We'll get a swing at it here. Runners at first and second, two outs. Avery back on the mound. Here's the pitch. That's going to get skipped to Allred, and she'll make a good block on that one. And we'll keep the runners at first and second. So one out count. Here's the pitch. That one swung on, and it's going to be fouled, but a nice diving play from Barajas, and she gets the third out. On the fly ball, or not the foul, the foul ball, 
that was going to be all the way in front of the dugout makes a diving play. And that's going to be out number three, and that will end the inning. We're going to take a break here. We'll be back for the top of the fourth. The score, 9-3. to three. Be back after this. Hi, guys. Nice to see you. Hello. I'm Debbie, and I'm a stay-at-home mom. Hi. Hi, I'm Tim. I'm a part-time adjuster, and we're looking to make a move to sunny Greenville, Wyoming. Awesome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Ashley Wilson with Home Smart Realty Group. And I guarantee if you buy or sell your house with me, I will be there every step of the way to make your dreams come true on your home purchase. She's good. She's so good. I told you she's good. She's so good. I like her. Let's do it, baby. I like it. Together, the Family and Occupational Medicine Clinics of Sweetwater Memorial and the Sweetwater Walk-In Clinic provide a one-stop destination for family primary care, treatment of work-related illness or injury, and unexpected health issues requiring urgent medical attention. For your good health and peace of mind, the clinics at 3000 College Drive treat your entire family. Welcome back to the ball game here. The score is nine to f uh, three, excuse me, here top of the fourth. And the Lady Wolves up to bat here is Imogen Wild, the freshman. And still in the pitch here for Natrona County is Goki, number 14. And as we await the pitch here, here's the pitch, and that's going to be a tad outside here for ball one. Good eye there on that one. And Lady Wolves had a great third inning. They scored three runs and held the Phillies to just one run. And so looking to approve upon it. And get back into this one here. The second pitch is going to be another ball here. 2-0 count. Two -oh count. Here's the pitch. And that's going to skip to the catcher here for ball three. Wild here doing a good job here at the plate. Let's see how... They approach this one, how Goki approaches this one with a freshman on the plate here, and she'll give her a high one, and she'll chop at it here for strike one. 3-1 count. Wild back to the plate. Here's the pitch, and she'll swing at this one, and that's going to be a base hit into shallow right field as Wild gets on back here. Uh, gets on the first place back here for the first hit of the fourth inning. Allie White up to hit now for the Lady Wolves, bottom of the order. She's showing bunt. She'll pull out of it. No, she's actually going to try to lay one down. And the throw to second's in time as Wild tried to steal second. And that's going to be the first out of the ball game. Just an unfortunate turn of events there for the Lady Wolves there as they get the strike and the out. And here, a swing at it here from White. That's going to be fouled off here for strike two. 0 2 count, one away. White showing bunt here. She'll pull out of it. Here's a swing and a miss. So, oh, but this third strike, I guess, was a little bit of confusion there. She thought it was dropped, then didn't think it was dropped, and then didn't run to first, and then just got tagged there. So out either way. Izzy Kelly up to bat now. Two outs already here in this inning. Only the third batter here. Hasn't been necessary uh, three up, three out, but they got uh, Wild here on the steal. And so... Kelly here looking to turn things around in this inning. Here's the pitch. And she'll make contact with that one, but that's going to be fouled. 
0-1 count, two away. Gets back to the to the plate. Goki back to the mound. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a close one there, but that's going to be outside here for ball one. 1-1 one, one count. One one count, one uh, two away. Kelly gets on this one down, and that's going to be a base hit here on the bunt. The third baseman couldn't get a hold of it there, and Kelly uses her speed and gets to first. So Kelly at first. Up to bat here is Gina Barajas, who made the fantastic defensive play. Diving for that one out of bounds here on the near side. Next to her bench. And they'll try the throw down to second, and they get Kelly stealing. That's going to end the inning. Oh, no, they're going to – no, the one saying they're safe. They revert it. Kelly's safe at second on the steal. And Izzy Kelly had five steals yesterday. Just – Absolutely had a fantastic day. Base running. She also went five for six at the plate. Oh, one count, two away. Brahas back to the mound, uh, back to the plate, and she fires this one in the left center field. That will fall for a base hit. Kelly rounds third and will make it all the way to home. Brahas will stay put at first. So a run on the board here for the Lady Wolves makes the score 9-4. to four. So an RBI there for Barajas. Hayden Terry up to bat now here for the Lady Wolves. And this one's going to be hit in the left field as well. And that's going to be another base hit. And it looks like that's going to be a... Oh, that's going to actually be a double here by rule that went... I think that technically went underneath the fence. But that's going to be a double here for Terry. Cody Allred up to bat here. So Cody Allred up to bat now. And here's the pitch, and that's going to be strike one. 0-1 oh, count, two away. Runners at second and third. Cody Allred up to bat. Here's the cleanup hitter. Here's the pitch, and she'll swing at that one, and that's going to fall, and that will be a base hit as it sneaks past the shortstop, and that's going to be a two RBI here. Single for Cody Allred. Lady Wolf's coming back in this one. Nice job there from the outfielder to keep Cody from going to second. But a good job base running here from the Lady Wolves to get two runs in on that one and bring this back within a three-point game. So Avery up to bat now, and this pitch is going to be a little bit of a wild one, and Albert will advance from first to second. One zero count, two away. Score nine to six. Lady Wolves down three. And the bat is Avery. Had a single the last time out. This one's going to get fouled off and now land a couple feet from the crow's nest here. Strike one. One one count, two away. Here's the pitch, and that one's going to be in the dirt here for a ball, and now advance Allred from second to third. Two one count. Allred advances all the way from first to third now on wild pitches here. 
at this at bat. Got herself into scoring position. All that Avery has to do now is get this one in play for a base hit. And she'll swing at this one. This will be fouled off here. 2-2 two -two count coming up. Two away. Runner at third. Taryn Avery with a chance here to make this a two-run ball game. She'll swing at this one. This will be fielded by the shortstop. Not cleanly, but still gets it in time as Avery not able to get down to first in time. A little bit slowed here by the ankle. Or I don't want to speculate too. I believe it's an ankle. She's been battling through it here, but that's going to be out number three, and that will bring us to the bottom of the fourth here. And so we'll take a break here. We'll be back for the bottom of the fourth right after this. You may have heard that over-the-counter hearing aids are out of the market now. What you may not know is that they are not a one-size-fits-all for everyone. That's where BRC Family Hearing Solutions come in. They'll check and see what the right options are for you, and they'll be offering a new comparable price unit soon. Don't trust something as important as your hearing to just anyone. See the team of doctors at BRC Family Hearing Solutions, serving Southwest Wyoming for 12 years. Call and get your appointment at 875-1460. Trust the ladies who listen at BRC Family Hearing Solutions. KPAC, your locally owned pharmacy, would like to wish the Green River Wolves good luck in today's game. Everyone at KPAC Pharmacy is proud of your hard work and dedication through this challenging season. We are a proud supporter of these athletes and look forward to a healthy and safe season. We have a personal commitment to our community because just like you, we support our community. From everyone at KPAC Pharmacy. Welcome back to the ball game here. As Taryn Avery taking some practice pitches there. And it looks like we're going to get ready to go here soon. And just a, a great game here so far from her. Just battling through it. And uh, getting ready here for her second inning pitching here. And subbed in uh, halfway through the third there. And got them out here with only one run in last inning. And so far in the last two, in it, in the last two innings... The uh, Lady Wolves have scored three runs each. Trying to get themselves back into this one. Still have plenty of time here. Bottom of the fourth. And Avery back to the mound here for her 10th pitch of the ball game. Here it is, and that will get skipped over to Allred for ball one. Up to bat here is the catcher, Malson. Number 40. And here's the pitch this time, and that's going to get swung on, and that will be fielded not very cleanly at short, but I think the throw's still in time as, as Terry will get the throw out over to first. Shiner is now playing first base here for the Lady Wolves as Avery up there pitching. And a good job there from the Lady Wolves to get the first out of the ballgame. Now it's up next to bat here. Looks like this is going to be, I think that's uh, Parker out there now, number eight. She tried to go in earlier. And uh, she was going to be a 10th batter. Did not let that happen, but now she's in here this time around. And this one's going to be hit into shallow right field. And that will be a nice play in the outfield from Mag. Or was that wild? I couldn't see. It was one of the two there. I couldn't see behind the dugout here. And a good job there between those two to get that one. I believe it was Mag. I'm not 1,000% sure here, but two outs here. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be just a tad it inside here for ball one. Up to bat here is Crawford, number 24. Second pitch here of this at bat. Inside again here for ball two. These, clo these uh, pitches are really close here. Good eye here from the Phillies so far in this ball game. They've, they've done a good job throughout the ball game not swinging at anything close. This one's going to be another ball here. 3 0 count.
Three Ocala, and this one is going to be, oh, just barely too high here for ball four. Very close on that one here, but that's going to advance Crawford to first. Now up to bat here, back to the top of the lineup here is Sale. Number six. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be swung on and missed. Second pitch coming up. This one swung on, and that's going to be fouled off here for strike two. So 0 2 count, two away, runner at second, uh, runner at first, excuse me. And this one here is going to be a ball for ball one. And here's the pitch, and that's going to be inside here, or rather a little bit outside. They try to throw out at first, and that gets past Shiner. And that will advance the runner here from first to second. And they're saying a full count here on the scoreboard. I thought it was a 2-2 two -two count. Let's see. And this one here, that's going to be another ball here. That will advance the runner here for uh, ball four. So runners at first and second. Three, so runners at first and second up to bat here is Randolph. Sorry, I'm a little bit behind here trying to catch back up here, Mike. My tablet was a little bit behind, but I think we're good to go. So runners at first and second. Here's the pitch from Avery, and that is going to be in for another ball here, it looks like. 2-0 count. Two away runners at first and second. They got a force at first, second, and third for the tag out. And that one's going to fall in for a strike. 2-1 count. A chance to put this inning away here with no runs allowed. Avery back to the mound. Here's the pitch, and that one's going to be a little bit wild. They're going to try to get to third, and they're not going to throw it here. A safe call there from Allred. Didn't look like they were going to get the throw in time. So the runners advance from first to second and from second to third. And that one's going to be a strike here. And this is going to be a full count. 3-2 count. Here's the pitch. That one's going to be high here for ball th uh, ball four. Excuse me. Now advance the runner here. Base is loaded. Goki now up to bat here for the Phillies, the pitcher. And she's been having a good game here at the plate so far. Avery back to the mound. Approaching 30 pitches on the ball game. Here it is. That's going to be a tad, in, uh, a tad too high here for ball one. Second pitch coming up with this at bat. Here it is. That swung on and tipped. That's going to be a foul ball. 1-1 one, one count. Two away. Still bases loaded here for the Phillies. And here's the pitch from Avery, and that will be fielded by Terry at short. She makes the throw to first, and that will end the inning. No runs allowed here as the Lady Wolves get out of that one. We're going to take a break here. The score, 9-6. to six. We'll be back for the top of the fifth right after this. Being good at life is hard, and you deserve a lot of credit. You work hard to protect your loved ones, and you deserve a retirement worthy of a lifetime of happiness. While being good at life takes a team effort, 
planning for your financial future is easier with a team. Here at New York Life, we understand that securing your family's financial future is a part of being good at life. We pride ourselves on solving your needs while also understanding yours and your family's wants and desires. Allow me, Robbie Lee, your local New York Life agent, to be a part of your family's financial team. Simply call me at 307-362-4043 and let me help you be good at life. Fremont Therapy Group is a proud supporter of Green River Wolves Athletics and Activities, providing specialized one-on-one -on -one physical therapy care in their custom-built facility with state-of-the-art equipment, including an on-site aquatic therapy pool. The clinicians have advanced training in orthopedics, manual therapy, sports performance, and hand therapy. Whether recovering from an injury or surgery or just wanting to improve your physical fitness, their highly trained staff will help you get back to the activities you enjoy. To learn more, call 307-875-4654 or stop in at 330 Upland Way in Green River. Birch Family Dentistry, serving Sweetwater County with professional service and friendly staff. Featuring comprehensive service including general dentistry, cosmetic dentistry, dental implants, root canals, and extractions. It doesn't stop there. With same-day crowns, family dentistry, 32 CBCT, and sleep apnea treatment available as well. Get your appointment with Birch Family Dentistry in Green River at 875-3658. Welcome back to the ball game here. The score is 9-6. Lady Wolves down three runs here. Top of the fifth. Chasey Shiner up to hit. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be low in, and inside here for ball one. Good eye there from Shiner to not chase that one down low. And she'll get back to the batter's box. Here's the pitch. She'll swing at that one, and that will be fouled off here, and that will land around the dugout here, right behind the dugout here for the Lady Wolves. And that'll be strike one, 1-1 one, one count. That one was a tad bit high, chased that one a little bit, but made contact with it underneath and fouled it off. 1-1 one, one count, no outs. Back up to bat, here is Shiner. Here's the pitch from Goki. And that's going to just clip the corner there for strike two. 1-2 one, count. Goki back to the mound here. Here's the pitch. And this one swing on a miss. And that's going to be strike here. Uh, strike three here for Shiner. Danielle Mag up to bat now. She's showing bunt here. Pulls back. Swings that in. This is hit into center field, and that's going to be a nice play there from Randolph in the outfield to get the out. A nice hit there from Mag, but just some good defense there from the Phillies, and they are already at two outs here to start the inning. Imogen Wild up to bat here. Two outs. Here's the pitch. That one dropped late there, but still stays out of the zone here. That's going to be ball one. It looked like it was going to be way high there. A good pitch there from Goki. Just couldn't get the freshman to go after that one. And that time she does. That's going to be strike one. One, one count. Two away. Here's the pitch. That swung on, and that's going to be fouled off here, and so that's going to go into the parking lot almost. 1-2 count. One two count, two away. The score nine to six. Here's the pitch, and a swing and a miss. A uh, strike was dropped, but they make the throw at first, and that will end the top of the inning. Lady Wolves head back on defense after this. We'll take a real quick break. Be back right after these short messages from our sponsors. Our community. We love it. We live it. We support it. Trona Valley is your local credit union, and we're proud to invest in relationships that go far beyond banking. We're proud to invest in the lives of our young members and their participation in sports. Green River Wolves are champions in our community, and we're here to support you all the way, on the field, on the court, or elsewhere. Together, let's develop successful financial habits. You got this. We're here for you. Go Wolves! Trona Valley member and CUA membership required. TronaValley.com.
Come see Paradise Flooring for all your home remodel needs. Now offering our highly sought after, easily installed and maintenance free culture marble showers by Tiberian. This is our newest addition along with Amsco windows, flooring and our full line of custom cabinets and countertops for any size and budget. We offer full installation with licensed installers and warranty all of our work. Locally owned and operated, come see us today at 2642 Commercial Way or call 362-8453. The employees at Mountain West Energy Services proudly support the Green River Wolves. Being a locally owned, family run business, they understand the importance of standing behind a student athlete. As owner and CEO, Alan Meredith raised three of them. From completing and repairing wells to capping wells to point to point trucking services, Mountain West Energy Services, the go to oil field company, stellar in safety and service. Mountain West Energy Services, wishing all the Wolves and Lady Wolves the best of luck this sports season. Welcome back to the ball game here. The score nine to six. Avery up to pitch here. Only has thirty pitches on the ball game here so far. Up to hit here is Hartman, number twenty six for the Phillies. And here's the first pitch of this inning for Avery. And this one's going to be a little bit low here for ball one. One zero count coming up. She'll get back to the mound here. The rest of the Lady Wolves here in the outfield and infield all still the same here. Ever since they made that switch with Avery going in to pitch. This one's going to be, oh, this is actually going to clip the runner here. And that's going to be a walk here, hit by pitch. So I actually found out yesterday, and that controversial call yesterday with uh, Imogen Wild getting hit when she just took it like a champ, didn't move. Uh, turns out you actually have to move to get the walk in uh, high school baseball. Did not know that. There has to be a, a like a flinch or attempt to move out of the way. For you to get the walk. Did not know that. I don't really necessarily agree with the rule. It's I, I guess I have no say in it. But it's, you know, if you're brave enough to take the hit when you see it coming at you, you think it would give you a, a little bit of a benefit. But no, nah, they, they don't. So, uh, But that's what the rule is, I guess. And so that's why she had to go back out there to hit when, the, uh, when she got hit by the pitch. Uh, right now here we're at a... Uh, 2-1 count with a runner at first as Hartman advanced on the wild pitch. 3-1 count coming up now as this one goes in for another ball. Good eye here so far from O'Brien at the mound. Or at the plate, excuse me. On the mound here is Avery with the pitch. And that's going to be just a tad inside here, or rather outside, for ball four. Runners at first and second now. Coming up to bat here is Sale, number five. This one is Lexi Cell. And this game here has only been going on for not even a couple hours here. We had a little bit of delay to start the game, and then we had a delay in the middle of the game. This pitch is a little wild, but they get the throw over to third, but not in time as they try to throw them off here. And that's going to be ball one, and the runners advance from first to second and from second to third. So one out count coming up. No outs here. Runners at first and uh, rather at second and third. Avery back to the mound here. Approaching 40 pitches on the ball game. And here it is. And that is swung on and hit into right field. And I don't think Mag was able to get to. I can't see behind this dugout. A throw in to home. Not in time as the runner advances from third to home. And that's going to be an RBI single here for Sale. So now runners in the corner. No outs. The score now 10 to 6. And Malson up to bat now, the catcher here for the Phillies. Here's the pitch. That's going to be inside here for ball one. 1-0 one -oh count, no outs. Runners in the corners. Here's the pitch from Avery. Now a time here, so uh, all right, back to it. Batter took a timeout. Back in the box, here it is. They'll steal over from first to second. They'll try to throw down at third, but not in time. 
And that's going to be a stolen base here for Sale. Two zero count. Here's the pitch. That's going to fall in for a strike. Two one count coming up. Runners at second and third. Score is ten to six. Here's the pitch, and that's going to get fouled off here towards the towards the dugout here for the Lady Wolves. 2-2 two, two count. No outs. Wind starting to pick up here a little bit. And Casper has the sun also behind the clouds here, starting to cool off a little bit. This one's going to be high and swung on, and that's going to be strike three. A good job there from Avery to make her chase that one out of the zone. Parker up to bat now here for the second time tonight as she subbed in last inning. Avery back to the mound. Here's the pitch. That's going to be ball one. Oh, no, that was actually called in for a strike there. Could not see the umpire there for a second. And this is going to be a hit, pop, fly, and dive and catch there from Allred to get the out. Nice job there from the catcher to get down there. And that one was going to fall fair. So pop fly out here in the infield. So two outs now up to bat. Here is Crawford, number 24, the left fielder. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be, oh, that's a close one there. They're going to say just a tad bit outside here for ball one, or inside, excuse me, for ball one. 1-0 one -oh count, two away. Runners at first and second. Bottom of the lineup, here's the pitch. They'll try to throw down to third back in time. Ball two. 2-0 two -oh count. Runners still at second and third. Crawford back in the box here. Here's Avery with the pitch. And that one's going to be close as well. Let's see if they give her that one. No, that's going to be ball three. Some good placements here so far from Avery. Just very close here. Can't get the call here. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be inside here. And that should be ball four. Base is loaded. Crawford moves to first. Sale still at second, and O'Brien at third. Now, we have number six, Lexi Sale, up to bat. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be Tad outside here on the lefty for ball one. Uh, here's this pitch. That one's going to be a wild one, and the throw at home is in time. They get the out. Cody Allred gets back to the uh, – got back to the fence, made the throw at home, as Avery came up and they get the throw out at first on the steal attempt from third. That will end the inning. The score is 10 to 6. We're going to take a break here. Be back for the top of the six right after this. If you want to be one step above the competition, see the friendly and knowledgeable staff at Peak Performance Physical Therapy. This is Haley Strauss, owner and physical therapist, and I'm here on the sidelines with the goal of getting you back on the move to perform your best in the game. Whether you're injured in sports, at work, or at home, see us for your physical therapy needs. We promise to give you individualized treatment in a hometown atmosphere provided by staff that truly care about your recovery. Peak Performance Physical Therapy is the only locally owned and operated physical therapy game in town. Look for the red roof at the top of the business park. We sit above the rest at 140 Commerce Drive in Green River, 18. 
Complete Chiropractics in Green River is 100% behind the Green River Wolves. Growing up in Green River has brought their experienced staff a huge amount of wolf pride. And to show it, they're offering $25 credit on game day to athletes and their families. Complete Chiropractics, a proud supporter of Green River Athletics. Located on Commerce Drive in Green River, give Complete Chiropractics a call today at 875-4325. You all know the oil can in Green River can take care of your engine needs, but did you also know they can fix your windshield as well? If you have a cracked windshield, stop by the oil can for an estimate. They can also fix those small chips so that you don't have to replace your entire glass. It's just one of the many services provided at the oil can. Let the professionals at the oil can get you back down the road safely. The oil can at 1365 East Teton Boulevard next to the Loafin' Jug in Green River. Welcome back to the ball game here. They got started a little bit sooner on me than I thought. First pitch was fouled off here by a white. Second pitch just was delivered here for a low ball here. So we're at a 1-1 count. Allie White up to bat. Goki still in to pitch here for the the Trona County Phillies. She's approaching 90 here on the ball game. She's at 83 already. And this one is swung at, and that's going to be fielded by the third baseman and the throw in time at first. And that's going to be out number one here for the Lady Wolves. Back to the top of the lineup here, Izzy Kelly up to bat. Only one out here. Here's the pitch from Goki. And Kelly tries to get this one down, and that's going to be called foul. They put a uh, <laughs> they put it as a ball here on the scoreboard, but she did try to bunt that one down there. That should be... Uh, it should be strike one there. We'll see if uh, the official gives us an official call. Uh, this one, though, is going to be in play, and that's going to be base hit here for Kelly as that one just sneaks right behind the third baseman as she was cheating up there to get the bunt. And that's going to be a base hit here for Izzy Kelly. So Gina Brahas up to bat here. Her team's down four here, top of the six. 1-0 count after that first pitch was a ball. Only one out. Izzy Kelly at first here, the base runner. You kind of see her there on the camera underneath the overhanging dugout. Here's the pitch. And that one is swung on and hit for a base hit in shallow center field. Izzy Kelly will turn two and she'll make it to three. Thought about going home there, but coach will hold her up. And that's going to be a base hit here for Gina Barajas. Good job here so far from the Lady Wolves in this inning. So runners in the corners. Up to bat here is is Hayden Terry. First pitch here is going to be in for a strike. But Gina's going to take second, and Kelly is safe at home. So on the strike, both runners advance still. Some aggressive base running, and the Lady Wolves get the run on the scoreboard. Cleaning off the mound here, or cleaning off the plate here, and this one's going to get fouled off here and not able to get back to it in time. Foul ball. So 0 2 count. Back to the plate here is Terry. She has a runner at second with Barajas there. Lady Wolf's down three. Only one out. Top of the six. Score 10 to 7. Here's the pitch. This one's going to get fouled off as well. And this will go just over, just over the fence there as it hits the bleachers. And this will stay an 0 2 count. 
Gogi. That was her 91st pitch of the ball game here, approaching 100. She's been in the whole game here for the Phillies. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a tad low here, and Gina will take third on the wild pitch. One, two count. And right now here, the Lady Wolves back to the mound, or back to the plate, excuse me, is Terry. One, two count, one away, runner at third. Here's the pitch. That's going to be low as well here, but a good job by the, by the catcher there to stop the pitch. Two, two count. And Terry there accidentally hit the catcher in the head with the, with the bat. Didn't know that she was walking up there. 2-2 two, two count. Back to the plate here is Terry. Back to the mound is Goki. 94th pitch of the ball game. Here it is. And that one's going to get grounded. And that will hit off the leg of Gina Baraja. She'll try to take home. and Oh, no. She's going to be out on a interference, I think, just because it hit off her leg there. This will be a base hit here for Terry. So an offensive interference there gets her out. So now runner at first, Cody Allred up to hit, and she'll fire this one into left field on the base hit. Now advance the runners here and. Up next to bat here is going to be Taryn Avery. So here's the pitch. Runners at first and second. Two outs. This one's going to be hit at the shortstop, and they're going to get the tag out at third. And this will be out number three as... A mistake there from Terry. She didn't. She forgot there that they had the force out on her, and she kind of slowed up there, and that's going to end the top of the inning. The score ten to seven. We're going to take a break here. We box, we'll be back for the bottom of the six right after this. Today's sports broadcast is proudly brought to you by the employees at Tata Chemicals. The employees at Tata Chemicals encourages all fans to rally around good sportsmanship. Your actions in the stands will reflect on the players on the field, so be sure to cheer for your team, but do so with class. Best of luck to all athletes in Southwest Wyoming as you play hard for your team and your town. Again, best of luck today from all the employees at Tata Chemicals. Proud to be a member of the Southwest Wyoming Trona Patch. At Davidson Chiropractic Clinic, they want to make sure you're well and adjusted for maximum summer fun. They're always accepting new patients. And besides chiropractic adjustments and treating auto and work injuries, they offer massage therapy, electrotherapy, lifestyle advice, and much more. Davidson Chiropractic Clinic offers sports physicals and DOT physicals. Call today to make an appointment for the school athlete in your family before the school year begins. 382-0600. Or stop in and see them at 2624 Commercial Way, Suite A in Rock Springs. Don't let pain stop you from having fun this summer. Visit Davidson Chiropractic Clinic. Welcome back to the ball game here. The score is 10 to 7. Bottom of the 6 coming up in the Lady Wolves. Uh, just trying to keep this one here, keep this inning here to a low scoring inning or no scoring inning would be favorable here from the Phillies. And then in the top of the 7th had to tie it up here, or the ball game will be over, I believe. And so back to the mound here is going to be Taryn Avery here. Looks like everything else is the same in the outfield and infield for the Lady Wolves. Up to bat here is Sill, and this first one here is swung on and missed for strike one. So 0-1 oh, count, here's the pitch. This one is going to be fouled off here in an early 0-2 oh, count here for the Lady Wolves. In favor of the Lady Wolves, excuse me, as Avery gets back to the mound. Here's 
Here's her pitch. She's just over 50 so far on the ball game. And she'll get this one in play, and it's, it's going to fall right in between second and center field, and that will be a base hit here for Sell. Kind of on the fly ball there, but just good placement there, and that will be a single. So Kyra Randolph here to bat now. She's got a runner at first, no out so far. Avery back to pitch. Here's the delivery, and this one is going to be a tad high here for ball one. 1-0 one -oh count, no outs. Back to the mound here is Avery. And this one is going to fall in here for a strike, 1-1 one -one count. Just clipped the outside corner there on that one. Here's the third pitch of this at bat, and this one swung on and hit again to shallow center field. Terry tried to dive for that one, but couldn't get over there in time. And that's going to be another base hit here for the Phillies. A good effort there from Terry at the shortstop position, trying to dive out there, but just couldn't get out in time. So runners at first and second, and Morgan Goki, the pitcher, up to bat. And here's the delivery. And that's going to be inside here. And that will be a wild pitch that will advance the runners. Back to mound is Avery. Here's the pitch. And this one is hit, and that's going to fall here for a base hit. It looks like we're going to get two RBIs here from the Phillies as they both round three and make it home. That's going to be a base hit here for Goki as she gets the single. And a timeout here on the field as Wild's got a tire shoe there. And it looks like we're going to possibly see a courtesy runner again here for Goki. All right, back to the action here. Up to bat here is going to be Hartman. The score is 12 to 7. And they got a runner at second. They do sub in a courtesy runner. Randolph back in there for Gilkey. And this one is going to be uh, inside here, and that's actually going to hit the batter here, and they will take their base. So Hartman gets the first, Randolph gets the second. Up next to hit here is going to be O'Brien. Back on the mound here is Avery. That was her 60th pitch of the ball game there, that last one. And here's the delivery. That one's going to be just a tad. Oh, no, that will go in for a strike. Good placement there from Avery. Back to the mound. Here's the second pitch and swung on and miss. Strike two. Still no out so far in this inning from the Lady Wolves as the Phillies are off to a good start on this one. And this one's going to be inside here for another hit pitch. And that's going to advance O'Brien to first. So bases loaded, no outs. And Quincy Sell up to hit now for the uh, Phillies. I always want, I keep wanting to say Lady Phillies, but they're the Mustangs and the Phillies. And this one, another hit pitch here from Avery, just not on target right now. And a timeout here from Coach McIndaffer, and we're going to take a timeout with her. The score, 12 to 7 here, bottom of the six. And we come back here. Uh, we'll see here if they make a change here at pitcher. Uh, but we're going to take a break here. We'll be back after this. Jaeger's Auto Body in downtown Green River is a proud sponsor of Green River Wolves broadcasts. Jaeger's Auto Body has been proudly providing quality auto body service to the Green River and Rock Springs area since 1972. Located at 360 West Flaming Gorge Way in Green River, 
Call 307-875-2448. That's 875-2448. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Closed for lunch from noon to 1. Mommy, Daddy put the dent in the car. At Frank's Auto Body, we understand that accidents happen. Frank's Auto Body is a proud supporter of Green River Wolves Athletics. Find custom paint and auto body experts. They'll have your vehicle repaired and back to you quickly. Plus, you'll get a written lifetime warranty. So when your vehicle is in need of body work, think Frank's Auto Body and go Wolves. Call 875-7752. 875-7752. Frank's Auto Body. We fix it like it wasn't broken. I'm not supposed to tell. Welcome back to the ball game here. And so a change here on the mound for the Lady Wolves as they'll put Hayden Terry back on the mound. They'll move Mag out from right field over to shortstop. They'll move Shiner from first to right field and they'll put Avery back at first. And this first pitch is swung on and hit over to third and Gina can't get to the bag in time. All runners safe. And that's gonna be an RBI as well as Hartman makes it in. And a nice hit there from, from Malson to get the RBI. So no outs here. First pitch of this at-bat here is going to go in for a ball. 1-0 count. Terry back to the mound. Here it is. That's going to be just a tad inside as well for ball two. 2-0 count. No outs. 14-7 is the score. And this one is swung on here, and that looks like that's going to fall foul. And that will be strike one here. 2-1 count, no outs. The score is 14-7 as the Phillies have the lead. I believe it is. Oh, no, now they try to throw this one into Terry, but oh, since it is a foul, they won't be able to advance. And so a timeout here from Cody Allred. And she's going to talk with the official. I do believe up to bat here is Parker. She's wearing a sweatshirt, so I don't know the number. It should be Parker out there. And the Lady Wolves here meeting at the, at the mound. All right, they're breaking out of their timeout. And Parker will go back to the mound. 2-1 count, no out, space is loaded. And this pitch here is going to be a tad inside here for ball three. Runner still, uh, base is still loaded here. This one's going to be hit and uh, trying to make the diving play was Terry. And they're going to advance the runner from third to home and they're also going to get the runner from second all the way around and they're going to score as well. So just an error on the field here from the Lady Wolves, and the Phillies now have 16 points. So everyone advances here. Runners at second and third, and Crawford up to bat. First, uh, first pitch here is going to be a strike. This one in for a strike as well. 0-2 count. Good pitching here from Terry. She's approaching 60 pitches on the ball game as well. Here it is, and this one's going to get hit into left right field, and that's going to be a base hit and an RBI. They're going to turn third here. They're going to try and make it in a little bit of a pickle, and they get them out in time. And players still down here. And a timeout here. Looks like we got an injury here from the Phillies. I, th I believe that's Parker here. She was wearing the sweatshirt. I can't tell. I do believe that is Parker. I don't see her anywhere else. Uh, they're going to meet with her over at third base. I'm going to take a timeout. Maybe back after this. China Garden Restaurant. 
and Sports Bar. They have been serving Sweetwater County for over 40 years. Come check out their buffet from 11.30 to 2, or come watch your favorite game and enjoy a microbrew on tap. They offer Chinese and American cuisine, and their service is second to none. Come down, play a game of pool, or bring the whole family and enjoy a nice dinner. Located at 190 North 5th East Street, Green River, open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 9, Sunday, 11 to 8, Monday, they are closed. The China Garden Restaurant and Sports Bar. The housing market is, well, complicated to say the least. In today's market, you need experience on your side to sell your home for the most money. And Brokerage Southwest brings over 25 years of experience serving Sweetwater County. If you're looking to take advantage of the seller's market, give Kelly Palmer a call at 362-1275. Their group of 10 agents can find the ideal buyer for your home. Don't wait. There aren't many houses for sale. So make yours stand out with the help of an agent at Brokerage Southwest. Oh, welcome back here. That actually ended the ball game here. Parker got up. She was fine after they checked out on her. She ran back to the dugout, but that last run made it 17 to 7. So by rule, the game is over here. Uh, before we even get to the final inning of this one here, so final score is 17 to 7 here for the Lady Wolves. We're going to take another break here, and we'll look here at the stats here and give out the uh, player of the game here for the Lady Wolves and. Um, we're actually, we've only been here, well, it's only almost been about three hours here. Uh, but I think we're actually going to stick around here and we'll cover the second game here as well. This one got done a little bit sooner than the one uh, last night. So we'll stick around and we'll cover the second game here as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, but we'll be back right after this. The Green River Bowling Center is everything you could ask for for family entertainment in Green River. Bring the whole family down for open bowling during the week. And every Saturday is one to remember with Cosmic Bowling starting at 7 o'clock. Enjoy delicious meals either brought out to you at the lanes or in their restaurant. The Green River Bowling Center has all the ingredients for a family night out. The Green River Bowling Center. Find them on Uena Drive for the family entertainment you've been looking for. Eye accidents happen more than you think. That's why Desert View Eye Care has added another impressive doctor to their roster, Dr. Meekum. Dr. Meekum has joined Dr. Wilson at Desert View Eye Care, where Dr. Wilson has served the Sweetwater County community for the last 18 years. They have the newest technology and techniques for every member of the family, including children, adults, and seniors. Schedule your appointment today by calling 307-875-3399. They're open Monday through Wednesday, 8 to 5, Thursday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Friday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Desert View Eye Care, serving all your family's eye care needs. Whether you're driving through or sitting on down, breakfast, lunch, and dinner is calling for you at the Hitching Post Restaurant in Green River. Get a hold of their breakfast burrito. You're going to need two hands for that. Or get everything you need for breakfast on one plate with a skillet. Their famous soup and salad bar has it all laid out for you. And their dinner specials make any family night a memorable one. The Hitching Post Restaurant in Green River. A proud supporter of Green River Wolves athletics and activities. When it comes to auto parts and tools, your best bet is Napa Auto Parts Unlimited in Green River and Rock Springs. Napa is locally owned and proud to support all local activities. Open seven days a week to serve your every need. Have a question? Let the experience of Napa go to work for you. All your automotive parts can be found at Napa Auto Parts Unlimited. Do or drive in Rock Springs and you win a drive in Green River. Jeanette at Green River Insurance is here to help you protect your home, your auto, your family, and your business. Green River Insurance does things the Wyoming way. By being locally owned and operated, Jeanette believes that her clients are the most valuable asset of any policy. With flexible hours that meet your needs, why aren't you doing insurance the Wyoming way? So call Jeanette today at 307-875-5078 or stop in and see her at 900 West Flaming Gorge Way. So, I just got the State Farm Personal Price Plan on my car insurance. So you told your agent you play the bagpipes for your dog? 
What? No, I didn't get that. Personal, my agent just helped me create an affordable price just for me. Okay, let me show you what I've been working on. Hey, Buster! Contact State Farm Agent Amber Kramer to create your personal price plan today. Prices vary by state. Options selected by customer. Availability and eligibility may vary. Welcome back here to the post game show here, and we will be covering this uh, second game here. We got the time here, and uh, might as well. We're down here, and uh, we'll get the second game rolling here soon after these two teams meet up and warm up again. And so we're going to go over the post game show, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna mute my mic here. I'll leave the camera on here, and uh, uh, that way it's not just a bunch of ads playing over and over here. So uh, we'll I'll mute my mic. And then we'll come back um, uh, for the pregame show for the next game once it gets closer to the start here. But let's get into the postgame show here for this first one. And uh, now it was a pretty good game here. We had some pretty uh, good performances here from a few Wolves here. The final score was 17-7 to as the Phillies walk away with a lead. Uh, some of the highlights here, Gina Barajas collected three hits on four at-bats. Uh, she singled in the first and fourth inning. And she uh, also singled in the third. And, oh, rather, she singled in the fourth, singled in the third, and singled in the sixth, excuse me. And uh, uh, also a good game here from uh, Cody Allred, who uh, had a good game hitting here as well. Led the team in RBIs, I believe, here. Let's double check. Uh, she had three RBIs here, had four at bats, had three hits as well. And struck out the other time. Uh, other player who went three for four here was Hayden Terry. And she had one RBI. Gina had one RBI as well. Izzy Kelly went three for four as well. So uh, uh, the top of the lineup here did a really good job here. Shiner went two for three. Uh, and Imagine, uh, Imogen Wild, excuse me, went one for three as well as Allie White. So some pretty good hitting all around here from the Lady Wolves. Just uh, couldn't get things going here defensively loud. Uh, 17 runs on the ball game here. And uh, it just was a great night uh, at the plate here for the Phillies. Weren't swinging at anything that was outside. Uh, they, did a, they did a good job keeping their eye on the ball here and not making it easy here for the Lady Wolves pitchers. And uh, that brings us here to the player of the game here. We're going to give this player of the game here uh, to Taryn Avery here. She uh, played uh, throughout most of the game here on what seemed to be either a bummed ankle or uh, a bum knee. Not too sure what was going on there, but she slid into second earlier on in the ball game. Uh, was slow to get up and stayed out there to finish the ball game. I uh, even uh, went in there to pitch. Had 60 pitches uh, on the ball game as well, and uh, and so we're gonna give player of the game uh, out to her as she stuck out there and finished the game strong. Still even. Uh, after she got hurt, um, still had a base hit uh, at the uh, uh, at the plate and uh, performed pretty well in the circle uh, pitching as well here for the Lady Wolves. But that's going to do it here for the post game show. Uh, we're going to take a break here. I'm, I'm going to leave the video on here, uh, and we will come back when it gets closer to the second game uh, for uh, uh, for the pregame show. And so stay tuned for that. We'll be back after this.
All right, everyone, welcome back here. It looks like the second game is going to get started here. Up to bat here is going to be Izzy Kelly here to get things started. And she'll slap this one down here on the bunt and makes it the first in time here. And that's going to be a base hit here for the Lady Wolves to get things started. And the pitch now here for the Phillies is Hodge, number 12. And nice leadoff hit here from Kelly to get the single. Up next to bat here, it looks like his. Looks like this is going to be. Let's see. I didn't quite catch the number. It's still Gina Barajas up to bat next here. Second in the lineup. Getting things ready to go. She takes the first one for a strike. And this one here is going to get fouled off here. First strike two. 0 2 count coming up. As Gina battles there. Back to the mound here is Hodge. Approaching her fourth pitch of the ball game. Here it is, and that's going to be Tad High here for ball one. So, ball one here. 1 2 count. Wind starting to pick up again here in Casper. And here's the delivery, and that's going to be uh, just a tad out, uh, outside here for ball two. 2-2 two -two count coming up. Back to the mound. Here's Hodge. Here's the pitch, and that's a swing and a miss, and that's going to be strike three here for Gina Barajas. Up next to bat here is going to be Hayden Terry. Uh, for her first at bat of the ball game, she's got Izzy Kelly at first, only one out. And other news, uh, the Rock Springs Lady Time. Oh, well, let's get to, back to the action. Here's a base hit. No, she won't get there in time. She grounded it out over to second, and the throw is in time, but Kelly advances from first to second. And that's going to be the second out of the inning. Good job there from Sale. And now up to back, bat here. Wind's starting to really pick up here. I believe this is all right up to bat. Here's the pitch, and she'll take that one here for ball one. So one ball here, two outs, Kelly at second. All right back to the plate here. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a low for ball two, and that's going to advance Kelly here to third on the wild pitch. So 2-0 -oh count, two outs, runner in scoring position, all right back to the plate here as the umpire clears off the plate. Hodge in the circle, this is going to be her 10th pitch of the ball game. 2-0 -oh count, two away. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be hit right back to the pitcher. Almost makes the play, but the throw's still in time at first. And that's going to be out number three. And Hodge filling the heat on that one. That was a nice hit there from Allred, but a good play on defense. And that's going to end the top of the inning. Score stays 0-0. We're going to take a break here. We'll be back for the Lady Wolves on defense after this. At Why High, our members are owners of the credit union, so we're always looking for ways to go above and beyond to help our member owners achieve their dreams, big or small. At the core of everything we do is our value of advocacy. We're with you is more than just three simple words. It encompasses the principles we live by to serve our members and our local communities. So if you're looking to keep your banking relationships local with a partner who will always be there for you, look to us. We're Why High. We're with you. We are Wyoming. Visit whyhigh.org to learn how you can be a part of something bigger today. Same coursework, lower cost. By coming to Western your first two years, you can save $34,000 on average before transferring to a four-year university. Students at Western have the luxury of participating in a hands-on learning environment with an average 11 to 1 faculty to student ratio. 
There are plenty of student life activities and scholarship opportunities to take advantage of. Also, make sure to check out our new cybersecurity and outdoor recreation programs. Apply today at westernwyoming.edu forward slash apply. Hi, Mary here from the Window and Door Store to talk about our Larson Storm Doors. We have updated models on display, in stock, and we can order to match your home style. From full glass or half glass, retractable self-storing screens, select models available with pet doors. From budget-friendly options or durable, longer-lasting aluminum frames, you can customize sizes in certain models and we provide installation. So contact us today at 875-2564 or visit our showroom at 900 West Flaming Gorge Way, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., the Window and Door Store. Welcome back to the ball game here, bottom of the first here in the second game today. The Lady Wolves dropped the conference game here to the Phillies. The final score was 17-7 here in the second game. This one's not a conference game, but it still kind of matters here for overall record. And uh, in other news, the uh, Rock Springs Lady Tigers won their conference game against Kelly Walsh on the opposite field, so they go 2-0 in their conference games here in Casper. As this first pitch was fouled off here by uh, Sell here, the leadoff hitter, the lefty. And Reich here pitching here for the Lady Wolves. And this pitch here is going to get hit in the left field, and a nice play there by Kelly to get underneath it, and that's going to be a fly out to left. Up next to bat here, that's going to be number three here. That's uh, uh, Randolph. She was playing catcher now here in the second ball game for the Phillies. And this pitch here, the first one, looks like that may have clipped the corner here. Let's see if get confirmation here. Can't yet here. No, it is a strike. There we go. 0-1 count, one away. Here's the hit, and that's going to be a base hit deep in the left field on the Hard grounder, Kelly makes the play to field it back inside, and that will only be a single, but a nice hit there from Randolph. Batting next year is going to be Quincy Sale. Her first at bat of the ball game. Number five here for the Phillies. Reich up to pitch. Here's the delivery, and that's going to be a tad low here for ball one. Allred still playing catcher here. Uh, the rest of the uh, infield, we got Shiner at first, Hayden Terry at second, Daniel Mag at short, and Gina Brajas at third. In the outfield, we got Kelly in left, White in center, and Chance in right field. And this hit is going to sneak past Mag for the base hit. They're going to try to get over to third. They do, and they advance the runner from first to second as well. That's going to go as a double now here for Sell. Good hit here by Sell, the line drive into, shall, uh, into the shallow left center. Up next to bat here, can't quite see her number. She's behind the official. That's number 26, and she'll get this over to the shortstop and a good play from Mag gets the out, but the runner does advance from third to home, and that's going to be an RBI here for uh, Hartman, the one that just grounded out there. So the score now 1-0, two outs, right back to the circle. Sale stays over at second, and this first pitch is going to be just a tad off here for the ball. Second pitch is going to be swung on and fouled off here. That's going to almost reach the parking lot here on the right side. 1-1 one, one count. O'Brien back to the box. Reich in the circle here. This is going to be your 10th pitch of the ball game. Here it is, and that's going to be swung on and hit to right center field, and that's going to fall for a base hit, and that's going to be an RBI as well as Sell will make it home, and O'Brien safe at first. So 
So an RBI there on that last play. And up next to bat here is going to be number 12. That is the uh, pitcher Hodge back up to bat here for the first time today, actually. Did not play in that last game. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a tad low here for ball one. Two away. A score 2-0. Runner at first. Right back to the mound. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be swung on and hit to right field, and Chance makes the play. That's going to end the inning here. The score 2-0. Lady Wolves will be up to bat next. We'll take a break. We'll be back after this. Former University of Wyoming quarterback Josh Allen is worthy of Wyoming. 23 plays into my first start here at the University of Wyoming. I dropped back, kind of went through a progression. I saw the middle of the field kind of open up. I decided to lower my shoulder. His helmet went straight into my collarbone here. We landed on the 20-yard line. At that moment, I knew something was really bad. So Josh's collarbone was pretty bad. He had broken in multiple places, and it required um, hardware fixation with the plate in order to get it back together. It was devastating news to me and my family, just knowing that you know it could have ended 23 plays in. We had no question whether we could perform the surgery here, given our wider range of uh, varying subspecialties within orthopedics. I would recommend Premier Bone and Joint Centers. The thing that made me feel really comfortable with them was they made it feel like your own family. I think he'll have no problem performing in the NFL. His rehab and his recovery have uh, done very well, and I don't see any restrictions on him whatsoever. They want the best for you, and they won't steer you wrong. Let us show you why we're worthy of Wyoming. When my patients are happy, I'm happy. I was exercising, and I could not continue to do the full rotation of my shoulder like I once had. Dawn had a rotated cuff tear in her shoulder. It's a very common diagnosis that people get as they get older. I've not experienced a surgeon like Dr. Allred. He is just very thorough, very patient, very kind. I think there's no reason to go to a bigger town when you have the expertise right here in the backyard. Welcome back to the ball game here. Ch Chasey Shiner up to bat here. Hodge back in the circle. First at bat for Shiner, and this first pitch is going to go tad inside here for ball one. 1-0 one -oh count. And here's the pitch. That's going to be a, oh, that's going to drop right in there for a strike. That one was close there, but a nice pitch there from Hodge to have it drop right at the last second. 1-1 one -one to count. Here's the pitch, and that is swung on, and that's going to be fouled off. One, two count. Here's the pitch, and that is a tad high here for ball two. Two, two count. Shiner doing a good job here keeping our eye on the ball. She'll show bunt. Pulls up, takes a swing at it, and that's going to sneak through here for a base hit right up the center of the field. Sneaks right past Sell, the second baseman, filled up by Randolph in the outfield at center. Up next to bat here is going to be Danielle Mag, her first at bat of this ball game. She's showing a bunt here as well. Shiner at first, the base runner, and pulls up here. She will get the ball. 1-0 count, no away. Score is 2-0. Lady Wolves are down here, top of the second inning. Here's a pitch, and that's going to be a tad low here for ball two. Two zero count. Mag back to the plate. Hodge still in the circle here. Seventeen pitches in. This one's going to be low here for ball three. Mag doing a good job here, keeping her eye on the ball. Finds herself in a favorable three zero count. Here's a pitch, and that's going to be a bunted down here, but it will roll foul. 3-1 count coming up. Right, 
So 3-1 count, two away. Mag showing bunt here. Has a runner at first with Shiner. We'll throw this one in, and that's going to actually be a strike here. Full count coming up. First pitch. I apologize about that. I had the uh, cursor hovering on the ads there, and I, I accidentally touched the little touchpad on my PC here. The score is 3-2, to two, and this pitch is going to be a low for ball four. Mag advances on the fourth ball of that at-bat. X up to hit. Here's going to be Allie White. Her first pitch of the ball, uh, first at bat of the ball game. Here's the pitch, and she'll try to bunt that one down. That's going to foul off here for strike one. Still no outs in this inning. Runners at first and second here for the Lady Wolves. They're down two. The go, uh, the tying run here at first is Danielle Mag. At second is Chasey Shiner. Allie White showing bunt here. Pulls back, but that's going to be another strike here. 0-2 count coming up here for Allie White. Some good pitching here, this at bat here from Hodge. She has a pretty good uh, dropping ball here. A little bit kind of like a sinker. This one here is going to stay a little too high here for ball one. One, two count. That wind's starting to really come out here. I have to turn down the field mic here a little bit. One, two count. Here's the swing and a miss, and that's going to be strike three here as White goes down swinging. And up next to bat here is going to be Shantz. Her first at bat here tonight. Did not play in that last game. She's going to show bunt as runners at first and second. Only one out here. They're down two here, top of the second. Here's the pitch from Hodge and tries to bunt that one down here, but that's going to uh, be strike one there. Couldn't connect. Jocelyn Chance. Back to the box. Here's the pitch, and she'll get this one down, but that's going to roll foul. O2 count, only one away. Runners at first and second. She'll get back to the box here. Here's the pitch. Swung on, and another strikeout here. And Chance will go down swinging as well. Two back-to-back -back strikeouts here delivered by Hodge. And up next to bat here is going to be the pitcher, Emma Reich. Oh, no, they're actually going to have Johnson in there, or, or Harrison, excuse me, number eight in there. And she'll get this one down up the baseline, up third, and this is going to get an RBI, and Mag will get all the way to third. So now runners in the corner, good hit there from Harrison. Gets that up the baseline on the ground ball. Good base running here from the Lady Wolves. Now back to the top of the line up here. As Kelly. I'll take a swing at it. Runners in the corners. Score is now 2-1. to one. Wolves down one. Tying run at third. Harrison, she'll still from first to second. No contests on the throw. That's going to be a stolen base there for her. 1-0 count, two away. Kelly back to the plate here as the lefty awaits the pitch. Here it is, and she'll swing at that one. That's going to be strike one. One one count, two away. Next pitch coming up here, and this is going to get it popped up here for a foul, and that's going to be strike two. One two count, two away. Lady Wolf's awaiting here as the Phillies get back in position. 
Kelly back in the box. Hodge back in the circle. Here, this is going to be her 33rd pitch of the ball game. Here it is. And this one's going to get fouled off as well. Kelly doing a good job battling here. Still a 1-2 count. Starting to cool down a little bit. Nice breeze coming into the crow's nest here. And Casper here at the crossroad fields here. Wait in the pitch. Here it is. Kelly fouls this one off here as well. Doing a good job battling this one out here. This count will stay 1-2. 35th pitch coming up here already in the ballgame here for Hodge. Still in the second inning. Here's the pitch. That one's going to get fouled off here again. Still a 1-2 count here, but this has got to be close here to almost the 8th pitch of this at-bat, it feels like. I kind of lost track here, but that's what it feels right. 1-2, to two, 2 away, here's the pitch, that one's going to be a low and in the dirt. Runners will stay at 1st and 2nd. Catcher did a good job there getting a little bit there in front of it. Had to get over to it a little bit, but not too far, not not enough uh, to risk going for home. 2-2 two, two count, two away. Kelly back to the plate. Here it is. That one's going to be high here for ball three. Full count here as Izzy Kelly's battled her way all the way through this one. Full count. Runners at second and third. The tying run at third is Daniel Mag. Kelly back to the plate. Here's the pitch. That one's going to get fouled off again. Almost 40 pitches now here for Hodges. She's at 38. Her 39th one coming up. Three, two count, two away. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a tad outside here. Four ball, four. That's going to get Kelly back to first base and Gina Barajas up to bat. She went three for four in the last game. Had a good showing here. Singled all three times she made contact. Back up here for the second time in this ball game. Bases loaded, two outs. Here's the pitch. Here's the swing, and that's going to be a foul. Oh, one count. Gina back to the plate. She grounded out in the first inning. And so far in this one, she is battling it out here. Fouled off the first two pitches is in a early 0-2 hole here. But still has the bases loaded. Has a chance here to do something big. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a swing and a miss here for strike three. That's going to end the inning with the bases loaded. Or rather, end the top of the inning here with the bases loaded. The score is 2-1. to one. Lady Wolf's down one. They'll head back on defense. We're going to take a break here. Be back after this. One North Front for 109 years. They understand the importance of local spending. Local spending means a strong economy. Spending at home means local jobs. It means more sales tax revenues. The dollars that support our cities and towns in turn support us. And deposits from local businesses turn into local loans. And profits fund local charities and youth programs. A win, win, win. First Bank of Wyoming, Division of Glacier Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender, encouraging you to support your own. Spend at home. Hi there, it's Les Schwab Tires. But if you don't know us, we want to introduce ourselves as Les Schwab Alignment and Brakes and Shocks and Wheels and Tires. Now, some tire places don't offer all that. They only sell tires. And we're not sure how they sleep at night because all those services affect things like steering and stopping. That's why we offer more than tires to help keep you safe. Stop by or book an appointment at LesSchwab.com. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. 
If you're looking to get into a pre-owned vehicle, First Choice Ford has a fully stocked inventory for you to choose from. Maybe you're wanting to upgrade your existing truck to a newer half or three-quarter ton. Stop by 1264 Dewar Drive today and take one for a drive. Mid to full-size SUVs as well as a good selection of crew cars. You'll be shopping at the largest selection in Western Wyoming. Zero down and top value for your trade-in. All vehicles are discounted, so stop by or check online at firstchoiceford.net. Welcome back to the ball game. Here, the score two to one here. Top, uh, bottom of the second inning, rather. Up to bat here is Gomez here for the Phillies, and she'll swing at the first pitch from Reich and foul it off here. Early 0-1 count. That one went. <laughs> that one actually did go to the parking lot here. Back to uh, the circle here is Reich, and this one is going to stay fair right up the third baseline. Fantastic hit from Gomez. This is going to get her a double on the grounder. Yeah, just barely sneaks right over the third uh, third base bag there. And that's going to stay fair all the way for a double. Kelly was the one who got out over to field that one and get the throw in time before she could get over to third next up to bat here. It's going to be number 18 as Hurst gets her first at bat of the ball game. Runner at second, no outs. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be high here for ball one. I already thought about throwing that one in there, but didn't want to risk anything there. 1-0 count. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be inside here, ball two. Oh, I know, that's going to be called strike. Good job there from Reich on the pitch. That one was close. Here's the third one, and that one's going to be a tad low and out uh, inside here for ball three. Two on count, or rather, yeah, ball two. Two on count. Runner at second, here's the pitch. Same placement there, a little low and inside here for ball three. Three one count. Runner at second is Gomez. She's ready to run here. She's been getting a, a, uh, a good start here each time. And that one's going to be swung on and missed here. Full count coming up. 3-2 count. Right back to the circle here. This is going to be your 20th pitch of the ball game. Here's the pitch. And that is swung on and fouled. Stays a 3-2 count. Back to the plate here is Hurst. It's the seventh pitch of this at bat. And here it is. That one's going to be low here for ball four. Up next to bat here is going to be number two, I believe, here. As... As... Uh, DeVoe here for her first at bat of the ball game. Here's the pitch. She'll bunt this one down, fielded by Gina Barajas, and makes the throw in time to first. No, the throw's off, and this is going to advance the runners here as Gomez rounds third, gets home, and getting home as well is going to be uh, her. She got home as well. DeVoe gets all the way to third on the air. Back to the top of the line up here. And it's still here. Nearly got her in time. They tried to get the ball over, get the bow out. Or, excuse me, I'm behind here on something here. I don't know. I must have missed something. That's going to be a, a... Sorry, I was looking down at the Game Changer thing and trying to get everything sorted out from that last play, but actually 
the score is now five to one, and making it all the way to third was Sale. So she gets the RBI there. So the score is now five to one. First pitch here is going to be a ball right back to the circle. Up the bat here is Randolph. She has Sell at third. No outs still. This next pitch is going to be Tad Lowe here for ball two as well. 2 0 count. Back to hit here is going to be Randolph. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a low inside here for ball three. 3 0 count. And they're thinking about maybe throwing, trying to get the throw out over at third, but still doing a good job staying in a safe position. This is going to be ball four here, just a tad high, as Randolph will take first. Up next to bat here is going to be Quincy Sell, number five. Runners in the corners, no outs. Score is 5-1. to one. And here's the pitch. It's going to be Tad inside for a ball. No, they're going to say that's a strike. So strike one, they try to get the throw down at the, uh, as they stole from first to second, but not in time. Runners at second and third now. Back to the mound is Sale. Or right back to the uh, box here is Sale. And she'll crush this into left field. And that's going to be a home run. Sale gets the home run. That's going to bring in three runs. The score is now. The score is now uh, eight to one, I believe, here. Oh, and. Yeah, it should be 8-1. to one. They have it at 7-1 on the scoreboard here. Timeout on the field from the Lady Wolves. As Allred trying to talk things over here. And let's see here. What they, uh, what they come out with here. and They're going to break out the timeout. Reich is going to take off her hoodie there. So the score is 8-1. to one. They have the scoreboard 7-1, to one, but... Here's the pitch. First one is chopped at, and that's going to be a strike. Oh, one count, no outs. Here's the pitch, and this is going to be a hit into shallow center field for the base hit. White comes up to it and throws it into second. That will keep Hartman at the. Uh, that will keep Hartman at first. Back to the plate here. Back to bat here is going to be O'Brien here. Right here. But their 30-second pitch of the ball game, and this is going to be inside here, and that's going to clip O'Brien here. She'll get the walk. So runners at first and second. No out still. Up to bat next is going to be Hodge, number 12. Almost back to the top of the lineup here. This is the sixth batter in the lineup. For the Phillies, still only have the uh, still haven't had an out here this inning for the Lady Wolves. Here's the pitch, and this is swung on and hit, and Terry can't make the play at second, just a tad too high there. Now go over the head. They'll try the throw at home, and this will not be in time. All the other runners will stay at first and second. But this will be a, a run scored here for Hartman.
So runners at first and second. The Phillies have had a solid inning so far. The score is they still have on the scoreboard uh, eight to one. I think they missed somebody on that home run because they did have uh, two base runners, I believe. Uh, but uh, we'll just go with uh, what the scoreboard says for now. We'll, we'll go with 8-1. And this one here is hit for a base hit by Gomez to get things started for her. Base is loaded. Still no outs. Back up to bat here is the Phillies. As Hearst gets her second crack at it. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a tad low here for a ball. Runners will all stay at the bases. Still got bases loaded. 1 0 count. Here's the pitch. That's going to be high here for ball two. Two -oh count. Here's the pitch. So and that's going to be swinging a miss, and they'll try the throw down at third, but not in time. Two one count coming up. Am I right back to the circle here? Approaching 40 pitches already in this ball game, still in second inning. No outs so far in this inning, and this pitch is going to be a tad inside here for ball three. Here's the pitch. That is swung on and a miss here. Full count coming up. Right back to the circle here. Has a chance to put the first out here on the board this inning for the Lady Wolves. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be just a tad far outside there. They're going to call that ball four. That one was close there. It was a good placement there. It looked like she was trying to get them to maybe chase on it, but a good eye there from Hurst not to chase that one out of the zone. DeVoe up to bat now for the, for the Phillies. Bases loaded, no outs. First pitch of this one here, that's going to be a ball. Back to the circle is Reich. Here's the pitch, and that one's going to be high here for another ball. They try to throw down at third, but back in time was Hodge. 2-0 count. No outs. Just a, just a great inning here so far here from the Phillies offensively. Here's the pitch, and this one is swung on and fouled. That's going to be strike one. 2-1 Two -one count coming up. Back to the circle here is Reich. She'll take the pitch, and that's going to be high here for ball three. 3-1 count. Base is loaded. And here's the pitch. That's going to be outside and high here for ball four as another runner advances uh, to uh, on the run here on the walk. Timeout here on the field from the Lady Wolves. We'll take a timeout with them. The score is 10-1 to here on the scoreboard here. And Casper, we'll take a break. We'll be back after this. Hi, this is Shyla Sims with Solvay. The employees at Solvay would like to wish all activities the best of luck this season. We would also like to remind you to rally around good sports. Being a good sport, whether you are playing or in the stands, is something to hang your hat on. Please rally around good sportsmanship. Also, we take safety serious at Solvay, and we hope you have a safe experience while playing or traveling to activities. Again, best of luck to you from all the employees at Solvay Chemicals. 
whatever activity it is you're doing that may put your back out of whack, give the Arnold Family Chiropractic staff a call today at 875-1926. They offer effective care for everyone of all ages. So whether it's outdoor fun, athletics, or you're just needing to get that adjustment, see Dr. Tom Arnold at 665 Uena Drive in Green River, offering care for over 15 years. Set up your appointment at Arnold Family Chiropractic today. Give them a call at 875-1926. Welcome back to the ball game. So a pitching change here for Lily Wolves as they put Terry back in here. And she'll get uh, this first pitch here is going to be a tad high here for ball one. So they move Shantz into the infield now. She's going to be playing second base, which is where Terry was. Chance was playing right field earlier and let's see here and they put Reich out in a right field so that's how they made these substitutions 1-1 one, one count here's the pitch that's going to get swung on and this is going to be a high pop fly in the infield and that's fielded cleanly by Barajas for out number one First out of the inning here. Up next to bat here is going to be number three. That's Randolph. The official cleaning off the home plate here. All right, bases loaded here for Randolph. One out. Here's the pitch. This one's going to be a tad high here for ball one. Second pitch coming up, and here it is, and that's swung on and fouled. 1-1 one, one count. Third pitch coming up. This one's going to be skipped over to all right here. Ball two. 2-1 two count coming up. Terry back to the circle. Back to the box here is Randolph. Base is loaded still here for the Phillies. And they try to throw down at third off the ball. That's not going to be in time, though. Ball three. 3-1 three count. Still one out here. If they could get them to swing on something here, they could turn the double play here and end the inning. But just good discipline here from the Phillies. Not swinging at anything that they don't want. They'll swing at this one, though, and that'll be fouled off here. This is a full count coming up. 3-2 count. Terry with a chance to put him down. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a, a strike three. Good pitch there from Hayden Terry. Now two outs. Next up to bat here is Quincy Selshi, homered in the last at bat. And that was actually earlier this inning. Here's the pitch. This is swung on and fouled. 0 oh, 1 count, two away. Back to the circle here is Terry, awaiting the pitch. Here it is. This one's swung on, and this is going to get through for the base hit. One RBI. Runner at second, rounds third, and she'll get home safe as well. Two RBI single there for Sell on the liner. That goes into the left field. Gomez and Hurst were the ones who made it in on the run. Runners at first and second, two away. Here's the pitch. This one's hit in the left field. Kelly trying to get over to it. She does not make the catch, though, and now hit the floor. The throw in by White, and that will be a two RBI double here for Hartman. Up next to bat here is going to be O'Brien. Runner at second is Hartman. 
Here's the pitch. Here's the swing. And that's get fouled off. And that will hit the top of the crow's nest here. Oh, one count. Two away. Back to the box here is O'Brien. Hayden and Terry up to pitch. Here's the delivery, and that's a swing and a miss there by Brian. 0-2 count coming up here. Lady Wolves with a chance to put an end to the inning. Here's the pitch. That's going to be high here for ball one. 1-2 one, count. Back to the box is O'Brien. Here's the pitch by Terry. That is going to be hit in the right field, and Reich not able to get there in time. This will fall for the base hit. O'Brien rounding first to second, and Gomez gets to the plate. And they're going to actually get a triple off of this here, O'Brien. And that was Hartman, rather, that got in instead of Gomez. Number 26, not 28. Hodge up to bat. Two outs. Runner at third. Here's the pitch. This is going to be grounded up the middle. This will be a base hit and an RBI for Hodge. A hard ground ball that time here. White will get it in in time, so Hodge will have to stay at first up next to bat here. This time it's Gomez, number 28. Terry back to the circle here. Almost her 20th pitch already this inning. Here it is. And this is going to be hit. A shallow fly ball, but Magnolia will get back in time. This will fall for the base hit. There's some fantastic hitting here so far for the Phillies. Score is 16 to 1 here. Here's the pitch. This is going to be bunted down. Throw not in time, though, at first. So Shiner came up to get the bunt, but Terry also went down there, and there was nobody at second. As Chance didn't get there in time, was starting to run over and another break of the action here by the Lady Wolf says Allred's going to bring the team together at the circle and so the bunt there they'll get home uh, not home uh, they'll get to first there on the bunt bases loaded now two outs up next to bat here we're back to DeVoe bottom of the order Now here's the score, and that's a swing and a miss as DeVoe chops at that one. Strike one. Back to the box. Here's this one. That's going to be a tad low as it skips. That'll be ball one here. So one, two count, uh, rather a one, one count here. One ball, one strike, two away. Runners uh, on each base. Base is loaded. Here in this one swung at. This will be a foul ball, but Gina Barajas makes the play on the foul ball and will get the out, and that will end the inning. The score on the Apricot Lane scoreboard here is 16 to 1, as the Phillies have the huge lead here so far in this one. We're going to take a break here. We'll be back for the top of the three after this. Hi, I'm Tim. I'm a part-time adjuster, and we're looking to make a move to sunny Greenville, Wyoming. Awesome! I'm so glad you're here. My name is Ashley Wilson with Home Smart Realty Group, and I guarantee if you buy or sell your house with me, I will be there every step of the way to make your dreams come true on your home purchase. She's good. She's so good. I told you she's good. She's so good. I like it. Let's do it, baby. Together, the Family and Occupational Medicine Clinics of Sweetwater Memorial and the Sweetwater Walk-In Clinic provide a one-stop destination for family primary care, treatment of work-related illness or injury, and unexpected health issues requiring urgent medical attention. For your good health, 
and peace of mind. The clinics at 3000 College Drive treat your entire family. Welcome back to the ball game here. Top of the third, the score on the Apricot Lane scoreboard here is 16 to 1. And right now, Lady Wolves down big here, trying to battle their way back into it. Terry up to bat here to get things started in the third for the Wolves. Here's the pitch by Hodge, and this is swung on and missed. Strike one. Next pitch coming up here. Quick timeout here from Coach. And we're ready to get going here. Back to the circle. Here's the pitch, and it's going to be fouled off here as well. Strike two. 0 2 count. No outs here so far in this one. Top of the third. Here's the pitch by Hodge, and that's going to be high here for ball one. One, two count. Hodge back to the circle. Here's the pitch, and this is going to be fouled off here by Terry. Good job battling here, and that one's going to stay on the top of the of the dugout there. They don't really have it sl uh, sloped there to get the uh, to get the uh, uh, balls to come down there. I just realized that. So still a one-two count, no outs, and this one's fouled off as well. Good job battling here by Terry. To stay in this at bat. One, two count. Here's the pitch. This one's going to be filled by the third baseman, and the throw is on time. That's going to be out number one there. Play there by Gomez, getting it over to Sell. So one out of the back here is the cleanup hitter, Cody Allred. Here's the pitch. That's going to be fouled off here. 0-1 oh, count. Still on the top of the third here. Back to the uh, circle here is Hodge. This is her 50th pitch of the ball game. Here's the delivery, and this is going to be hit in the left field. That one's deep, and that one is gone for a home run. Home run Cody gets the homer in the top of the third. The solo shot home run, and the, uh, the team will meet them here at the home plate here. And a good hit there from Cody Allred. The Lady Wolves get on the board here. Score 16 to 2. Up to bat here is going to be Chasey Shiner, number 42. In the box here. Awaiting the pitch from Hodge. Here it is. And this one will be grounded over to second. Throw in time. That's out number two. Didn't get a hold of that one quite like she wanted to there. Got a little bit on top of that. And that's going to be out number two. Up next to bat is going to be Daniel Mack. Mack showing bunt here. She'll pull up. Swings at that one, and that's going to be fouled off. 0-1 oh, count, two away. And next up to, oh, wait, rather, here's the next pitch here by uh, Hodge here, and that's going to be in for a strike. 0-2 oh, two count, two away. Here's the pitch, and that's swung on and missed. That'll be out number three. And that will end the top of the inning here for the Lady Wolves. 
The score on the Apricot Lane scoreboard here is 16-2. We'll take a break here. Be back for the bottom of the third after this. Over the counter hearing aids are out on the market now. What you may not know is that they are not a one size fits all for everyone. That's where BRC Family Hearing Solutions come in. They'll check and see what the right options are for you, and they'll be offering a new comparable price unit soon. Don't trust something as important as your hearing to just anyone. See the team of doctors at BRC Family Hearing Solutions, serving Southwest Wyoming for 12 years. Call and get your appointment at 875 1460. Trust the ladies who listen at BRC Family Hearing Solutions. KPAC, your locally owned pharmacy, would like to wish the Green River Wolves good luck in today's game. Everyone at KPAC Pharmacy is proud of your hard work and dedication through this challenging season. We are a proud supporter of these athletes and look forward to a healthy and safe season. We have a personal commitment to our community because just like you, we support our community. From everyone at KPAC Pharmacy. Welcome back to the ball game here. Bottom of the third, the score on the Apricot Lane scoreboard here is 16-2. And back in to pitch here for the Lady Wolves is Hayden Terry. And up to bat here is number six, that's Sell. Back at the top of the lineup, here's the pitch, and that one's going to be high here for ball one. So Elsie Sale back to the box here, and that one's going to be strike one. Swung on that one there, trying to get a little slap bunt down. She's very similar here to our own number six, Izzy Kelly. Lefty leadoff hitter, tries to get the slap bunt down. At a 1-2 count here. Back to the plate. Here's the pitch. And she'll get this one. And that will sneak past the first baseman. And that will be a base hit here for Sell. The throw inside is off. But she won't take her chance there going for second. Good job there by Barajas to get back there. And to stop the wild throw there. That will be a single. First pitch of this at bat here, and that's going to be just a tad low here for ball one. Back to the mound. Here's the pitch. That one's high here for ball two. Try to throw down at one, but not in time. 2-1 count. Here's the pitch. That one's high here for ball three. Good eye here so far at this at bat from Randolph. Not taking any chances here. She'll swing at this one though, and this will fall for a base hit right over the head of Barajas. And that's going to be a single, and now Vance sell from first to second. Next up to bat here is going to be the other sell, as this is Quincy's sell. So runners at first and second, no outs, sell up to bat. Here's the pitch, and this one is hit in, and this is caught by Chasey Shiner at first. Out number one. Good job there to catch the line drive there on that one. Now up next to bat, here's going to be number 26, this is Hartman. Runners at first and second, one out. And this one here is fouled off for strike number one. 0 1 count, one away. Second pitch coming up shortly. Here it is. And this one is going to get fouled off here. That's going to hit the light pole and bounce right back into the field of play. That was a nice little trick shot there. 0 2 count. Here's the pitch. This one is in there. Oh, no. Thought that was going to be strike three, but just a tad high there for 
ball number one. It did a good job. Had a lot of motion there. Dropped the last second there, but just not quite in time. This one is swung on, and that's going to be base hit into right field. Runner at second rounds third, and will make it home. That one was sail. And the runner at second makes it to third. A, ra a runner rather at home makes it to third, and I think that's going to end the ball game here. Let's see. They call it here, and yeah, that's going to end the ball game. Well, that's going to do it here for this one. We'll take a real quick break, and we'll talk about this one a little bit, and we'll get going here, and yeah, we'll be right back here right after this. Being good at life is hard, and you deserve a lot of credit. You work hard to protect your loved ones, and you deserve a retirement worthy of a lifetime of happiness. While being good at life takes a team effort, planning for your financial future is easier with a team. Here at New York Life, we understand that securing your family's financial future is a part of being good at life. We pride ourselves on solving your needs while also understanding yours and your family's wants and desires. Allow me, Robbie Lee, your local New York Life agent, to be a part of your family's financial team. Simply call me at 307-362-4043 and let me help you be good at life. Fremont Therapy Group is a proud supporter of Green River Wolves Athletics and Activities, providing specialized one-on-one -on -one physical therapy care in their custom-built facility with state-of-the-art equipment, including an on-site aquatic therapy pool. The clinicians have advanced training in orthopedics, manual therapy, sports performance, and hand therapy. Whether recovering from an injury or surgery or just wanting to improve your physical fitness, their highly trained staff will help you get back to the activities you enjoy. To learn more, call 307-875-4654 or stop in at 330 Upland Way in Green River. Birch Family Dentistry, serving Sweetwater County with professional service and friendly staff. Featuring comprehensive service including general dentistry, cosmetic dentistry, dental implants, root canals, and extractions. It doesn't stop there. With same-day crowns, family dentistry, 32 CBCT, and sleep apnea treatment available as well. Get your appointment with Birch Family Dentistry in Green River at 875-3658. Welcome back to the post-game show here. The final score of this one on the field is 17-2 to two, uh, two on our Apricot Lane scoreboard here. and uh, The Lady Wolves go 0-2 today against the Natrona County Phillies. And uh, not much really. This is uh, kind of one of those throwaway games. Not their best game here in uh, both games here for the Lady Wolves. Battled a little bit better in that first game. Uh, but in this game just could not get anything going. The Phillies were just on target today at the at the plate. Uh, uh, didn't really take any swings at any balls and crushed any hit that was on the uh, that, that was a strike. And so uh, good job hitting here today from the Phillies. Uh, Lady Wolves um, dropped the conference game here today, uh, but they won the conference game yesterday, so they're now one and one in conference games, and we'll move on next week here. Let's take a look at the schedule as I believe we play Rock Springs next week, but I want to make sure before I uh, go into the player of the game here as uh, the Rock Springs Tigers here. Uh, for anyone interested in that, they go 2-0 and in the conference games here in Casper. Uh, and they've got another game going on right now still, so I'm uh, not too sure uh, how they will go. In this one, they did lose their second game yesterday against Centrona County, but did get the win in the conference game at least. And let's see, it looks like, uh, looks like here we will be having uh, Rock Springs versus Green River on Thursday. Uh, and that will be in Green River on the 28th. So we'll be covering that game. We'll actually have two streams up for that game. We'll have one for the Rock Springs side and one for the Green River side. And we'll probably meet up and talk a little bit in between some of the innings, me and Keith Trujillo. And so be sure to tune in to that game as we'll have it up on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, but uh, that's going to do it here for this game. Player of the game in this one, it's got to be Cody Allred. Got the solo shot home run. Uh, Played a great game defensively as well at the catcher position. And uh, it's been playing well uh, in all three of these games. Just hasn't really got a player of the game yet due to uh, some of the other outstanding games we've seen so far from the other players. Uh, but for sure got to give it to her this time. She's played great all year so far. 
And But that's going to do it. That's going to end the stream for us this week. Uh, be sure to tune in for the Thursday game against Rock Springs. But until then, have a safe day. Have a good day. And we will be back for that uh, game on Thursday. So uh, be sure to tune in on Facebook and YouTube. And like I said, we'll have the two streams up, one for Rock Springs, one for Green River. 